Hello again, and welcome. It's been so long. To the show where we have definitely spent three or four days in between recording and both of our voices and throats don't hurt. Yesterday, after... I don't know if the throat is from speaking. Well, who's to say? Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday after we recorded for six and a half hours, mm-hmm. uh, both of our tongues hurt, yeah. and we couldn't really talk anymore. We had a quiet rest of the night. And even this morning, I had a hard time eating right, right away. I got up, I was going to have breakfast, I tried to chew, my Man. tongue hurt, and I was like, not into guess it. I'm not eating today. Yeah. Uh, welcome to... The worst year of our lives, uh, aka the news. Uh, I'm Drew uh, at Sarian Softballs on some things, and also Drew Sarian on Letterbox. I'm Scott at not Scott Hansen on Twitter. Now over six thousand six hundred sixty-six followers. You guys have done well, even though they did it even live did it while before, on air. They heard me ask. So in theory, all of them are failures. You're not. Wrong. Yeah, that's and, what I thought. And that's everyone that's here. Good night, everybody. That was it for the podcast. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Wait, there was a goofy laugh earlier. There, right? Yeah, there was a guy here. <laughs> I forgot. I, I was here. Uh, I don't even remember what my Twitter handle is. It's been over like a year Wolf, and a half Wolf, since I've used Wolfie it. Wolfie D? <laughs> no, I mean, that's what it should have been. Uh, I think it's, well, I guess I, I should. I think you're a Kate Caden, Talbane. Caden yes. Talbane? Yes, I mean, this is. Kelly Summers, a.k.a. Caden Talbane. Are we, is this still called Worst Years of Our Lives? Well, we've been joking about calling it The News. Because, because there isn't actually a podcast yeah, we, called The we News. We Googled it, and then they, we couldn't find anything yeah. about The News. So we're like, it'd be really funny if we changed the name to The News, and then a bunch of just, it's like, randos <laughs> started listening to it, and then they hear off the bat, like, us talking about homosexual sex with one another or swearing that gets us demonetized on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it, it was a running gag, but yeah, it like it is still technically called the worst year of our lives or the worst okay, year of our know. life. If yeah, we're if, stupid. If you, if you ask uh, any original hosts who don't understand <laughs> plurals and tenses, uh, it might in fact be the worst year of our life. Well, I mean, we are interconnected in all. <laughs> we are. Way. We are all one. Yeah. We are all one being. <laughs> I saw Avatar. I know what it's like. I didn't see the new one. I saw, I'm talking about the old one. I, uh, uh, I you know, I should. Don't bring it up. I'm I not, don't care. I'm, I don't care. The crowd doesn't care. The audience. I'm not going to play care. it again. Nobody I, cares. We re- get it. You have a cameo. What I received cameo.com/slash scoot. I did receive a request on cameo.com/slash scoot to review Avatar two, having not seen it, and I did a pretty good job. I think okay. it involved <laughs> Elliot Page. And the N word. Oh my! I, I think I got it right. Did you? You didn't see it. I did not see it. I so you no can't. You can't prove it. I'm wrong. No. You can't prove a negative or another. Careful. And careful. I, I already hey. don't like this. <laughs> hey, uh, Kelly. This is the show now. <laughs> hey, YouTube. You suck. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, you you cannot. Well, they say you can't swear in the first fifteen seconds, but it's actually kind of like the first couple minutes, or they get real dicey about monetizing. But you can say, "I hate YouTube." Oh. You can definitely say that, but you can't. You can't. Let me be very clear. You cannot say, "I'm going to kill the president." You will get in huge trouble for that. So don't say. Can it. I talk? Oh, shit, I didn't know. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> can, I, can I talk about killing podcasts from Ghostbusters? Oh yeah, Afterlife? there was like, there were many threats of violence against the character podcast from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Have you seen it? No. Oh, did you know it existed? Uh, the movie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, oh, okay. I just I just I don't know. I there's just, a little there's, wiener there's Asian, a kid little Asian kid whose name is Podcast, and he's one of those like I'm very I'm very much smarter than all of the adults in the movie, ah, yes. and I have a podcast that no one listens to, but I carry around recording equipment all the time, and all of his like little quips and comments are like written by an adult man who is completely out of touch. Yeah. And uh, I hate him. And an adult man who just heard of podcasts in 2021. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Jason Raymond. Jason Raymond. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you're getting a, a special treat. Usually we don't record this many. Third straight day. You're, oh, I just remembered I get to go home tonight and do all three podcasts and put them up tonight. I am, I'm just not going to bed. That's my night. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing tonight? What's what are everyone's plans as tonight? As soon as you my, two leave my apartment yeah. or my apartment, my house, <laughs> I'm painting the walls. 
<laughs> in feces. Oh, not what I thought. I I'm going to shave off my eyebrows, <laughs> and I'm going to poop all over the walls. Okay. I mean, I was going to also paint Drew's walls. Oh. But uh, I guess that's not happening. But with paint. Well, yeah. You're gonna do a nice touch-up job. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna was, get you're gonna prime gonna first a new coat of paint. Now, yeah. Ah, a new coat of paint. Yeah. The original name of the new day. A real thing. <laughs> Do you know that? I did not know that. The original they originally plant, wanted yeah. to call it them a new coat of paint, and then ri- then someone was like, "That sounds really <laughs> racist. Maybe we shouldn't call the like, all black." faction <laughs> something that you would hire a slave to do i mean it's i don't think it's as bad as calling an all black face faction new coat of paint fair right yeah but it still sounds bad remember when they were the new nation they were the new nation and everybody was like oh they're gonna be militant black guys no, and then goofballs who like go- unicorns unicorns and, and booty and dragon ball z and dragon ball z and dragon ball z and they shake their asses yeah and then one of them will break his neck horrifically oh my god <laughs> i hadn't seen that since it happened uh-huh. and then i watched a uh shout out to brian zane uh BC. Uh, he did his recap of the worst of 2022, mm. and that was one of them, I and I had fair. forgotten how horrific it was. It's awful. It's rough. It is very hard to watch. I don't like that it happened as I was pulling into an SOS show. Yes, that's right. I'm like, oh, good. I get to maybe do this tonight. Yay. And then you went and you suggested doing an overhead belly-to-belly on the floor with a only sort of trained guy. <laughs> Yeah. Nothing exactly. like rushing a guy to the main roster who's not actually ready to be on the main roster. But he's big. But he's big. He's, he's big, big and he used to be a professional rugby player. And so his what name are you going to do? Menzies. Menzies. <laughs> <laughs> Should have kept it. Should have kept it. What's a Ridge Holland? I don't know what a Ridge Holland. Give me a Luke Menzies Luke any Menzies. day. He's got the Menzies. Money Menzies. Big money Menzies. Sam Jude is Facebook calling me right now. Huh. What do you think about that? I'm pick, not going to answer. Pick it up. No, no. This would be like a Chris Frank time. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah, remember when Chris Frank Facebook yeah. called us? Ow! Sorry. Don't tell him. There's. Oh my god. Uh, video. Sam. Sam. Hi. Sam. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Scott and it's Kelly and it's Drew and we're doing a review of Wrestle Kingdom 17 right now. You're not gonna see me well because I'm gonna hold you close to the mic. If you don't want to be on the mic, perhaps call me later. But if you want to be for a bit, you're welcome to. Uh, mate, uh, like, look, um, Wrestle Kingdom wasn't that great, and uh, I've, I've got hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I like it. Um, I'll kind of let you show you why it was the exact same match that they've had about a million times. You are correct, correct, sir. Correct. Good finishing sequence stuff. Approximately 15 minutes towards the end, they did a reversal bit. Yep. Blade Runner reverse into uh, Rainmaker, reverse into Blade Runner, reverse into Blade Blade Runner, reverse into uh, Rainmaker. Uh, Kick out, done, go back in, done. Um, That's that's the match. Um, I could have planned that in my sleep. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, the, the best match on the show, uh, let's be honest here, was Zack Sabre Jr.'s match, and I'm going to die on this hill. Biased. So, Not your buddy Billy? <laughs> <laughs> That's your buddy Billy who got six and a quarter stars? Oh, no, it was good. It was really good. Like, I ain't going to sit there and shit on someone because I don't like them. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, we do it. Yeah, we do it all the time. But no, it was good. Look, look, guys, it was good. Like, oh, yeah. I, I ain't gonna sit there and like I hate people, and <laughs> I will still sit there and say that they had good matches. I think it was a very fun match. Um, that was six, 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 five. <laughs> 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 smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was a very great match that had an abundance of selling from Will. It's the best selling he's ever done in his fucking life, where he isn't screaming at the camera. <laughs> yeah. So, let's be honest here, it, it was an abundant, abundantly clear that Will would put on his uh, somewhat selling selling shoes. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, if I wanted to see a match that was that one-sided... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have watched that. <laughs> the DDT spot off the top rope was incredible. Oh. The use of blood was redundant. It then didn't need to be the use of blood at the same time. I think I marked it down for that. Um, 
I don't think that he added anything else. If like Bill is taking all of the big moves, he's selling them. You don't <laughs> need the inclusivity of blood. It's absolutely piss poor, in my opinion. It's redundant. It's boring. Uh, we live in a now in a in a life. We live in a society. We, <laughs> we live in a society now where everyone blades. So <laughs> blading is not cool anymore. If this was like two thousand eight, I'd, I'd be like, oh my god, this is crazy. But mm-hmm. it's not. So. Yeah, I, I think it was great. I think it was good. Um, Master Master Waito has the best German suplex ever. Oh, <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Horrific. It was crazy. Start talking about it. Also, his weird crucifix. Yes. Figure it was sick. He's, he's easily the most believable false finish in wrestling. Yeah. And should be his fucking finish. Yeah. Let's be honest here. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, let's have the women go six minutes because that seems. Uh, <laughs> Sa- Samuel, don't get us fucking started. Yeah. Oh, don't, 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 don't get it fucking started. A sixty-nine-year-old oh, man got more time than two great women wrestlers. Yeah. 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 No, an unbelievable women wrestlers like the the back fists were like, oh! disgusting. Yeah, killed her. Killed her. Um, like and and the screwdriver i forget what she calls it but it's yep. a screwdriver brilliant like the whole match was great yeah all five and a half minutes of it yeah no exactly he should have at least had 30 minutes also fuck the great musa <laughs> yeah. his um you know homophobic stance on things if you want to throw out the f word there's one f word i have for you fuck off and retire but that's <laughs> not my point the point is i think you're an absolute piece of shit and the fact that your knees still work is held together by children's prayers <laughs> <laughs> Make a wish foundation. At the end of the day, John Cena should be visiting the Great Mother in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> the the FTR um, tag was okay. I wanted more. Yeah. Dick. Yes, they do conventional tag stuff. Great, <laughs> brilliant. Not like the Rock and Roll Express were doing that in 1980. But that's not the cool thing to say. Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, the bald one. Which is it? Dax. Dax. Um, oh, he hits a really nice pole driver. Great, good shit. Chris Hero has been hitting a good pole driver since twenty fucking twelve. But what we're we gonna slob over his dick now? No, no. no. <laughs> so, look, it was a it was a perfectly acceptable match. Three point two of uh, three point seven five stars. Big Mouse gave that. Why? Um, do we even need to do the uh, review? Yeah. Now? <laughs> I think Sam's got to cover. Sam's got to cover. Um, uh, the 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 young young lions match is perfectly accessible. I don't have an opinion on it. Um, it was a thing. Oh shit! The legacy tag match. The the like uh, everyone's four hundred years old and Minoru Suzuki is still producing the same match he's done yeah. for the last ten years, but everyone was still gush over it <laughs> because he hit someone really hard with forearms. No, that's bullshit. You can't sit there and have the same opinion on someone because they hit someone with a massive forearm. I can do that. It doesn't take absolute talent to do that. I'm not denying Minoru Suzuki is one of the best to do it, and the fact that more is less or less is more sorry 100 yeah. percent. at the same time please do not give me this spill that minoru suzuki is somewhat some savant that precedes time the man can't fucking bump <laughs> <laughs> like let's be honest here and then whatever you had the junior's hag match where leo rush got his fucking <laughs> yep i just you got his um, wig split Yes, don't do that on a fucking LED. Like, it doesn't take a fucking scientist to sit there and say, don't take a fucking front bump on something that's pointy. I mean, <laughs> um, well, sure, it sounds simple in hindsight. Yeah. Oh, it does. Don't try and sit there and do a big spot on the... Like, we had that with fucking Trent sitting there doing the big fucking... A dive over the top rope and landing on the ramp years ago, and he's still paying for it. Yeah, so, don't do that. You're silly. No one cares. Um, Maybe he'll retire again. I hope so. Uh, well, <laughs> Leo Rush. I fucking hope so. He gets on my fucking nerves. Yep. Um, As he does uh, everybody. Uh, oh shit! We had uh, Tama fucking Tonga versus uh, Carl Anderson. A great match. Um, why the fuck are we doing fire thunder drivers on that same ramp? That yeah. <laughs> Did we learn nothing? 
Moves. Why did also that he seem like he had his working boots on until the final fight? Oh, <laughs> Sam, you are stealing all of our thunder for this podcast. <laughs> He's the Thundertaker. He's the Thundertaker, yeah. Sure, Mark is a WrestleMania. Yeah. Oh, we've had a pretty decent match. Fuck your finish. Yep. Um, Classic. I mean, I think I've covered it all. Pretty much. Yeah, I don't think we need to do a podcast anymore. No, we're done. <laughs> the, the, the four the four way uh, junior match was was wonderful. It's great. Yeah. It was yeah, really really good. Um, yeah, I don't really have lots of stuff. It was quite good. Um, who was it between uh, Walter? Uh, fucking Jesus Christ, Walter Desperado, Takashi, Desperado, uh, and Taiji. Wasn't it, right? He was in it. He was in it. Yep. Right, El Desperado should stick to fucking doing death matches with Junkers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ke- Kelly and I watched that. That that might have had more moves in a row by one guy than Omega Osprey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I hit one thousand moves and Desperado hit one and then one. Yeah. <laughs> But at the same time, I'd probably say there was somewhat, uh, as much as I appreciate, it was an absolutely fantastic match. And I, and I will as well. And, uh, I think it's great. I will not sit there and say that it's without flaw. I thought wrestling was about protecting someone and Will absolutely filled his fucking eye in, which is <laughs> yeah, yeah. not the sign of a, a great worker. Not to say that Will isn't a great worker. He's got more five stars and I've had hot dinners in mind. <laughs> <laughs> but that's... <laughs> But that's purely because Dave Meltzer thinks that Will is the reincarnation of fucking Kawada. Don't know why. That's an but... odd comparison. <laughs> Mel- Meltzer, Meltzer's been an Ace Pain fan since day one. Big Ace yeah. Pain guy. I never had that five star match from him, and I've wrestled him twice. True. I went over on him as well. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> um, look. Just because Will hits Kawada kicks really poorly doesn't mean that he is Kawada. You can't sit there and put the two in, the, in consideration. I think that we're not a for him. And yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Don't get me wrong. It was the best match on the fucking card, and it was fantastic. And I watched it while I was at work, which was probably not the right idea to do. But hey ho, it's that weird time between New Year and yeah. New Year. Um, so it's fine. But no, it, it, it was weird. The, their, their choice of storytelling, I thought, was was mad. I thought the DDT spot, although fucking gnarly, and I would never fucking take that. No, no. Um, it just didn't need blood. It, it didn't need blood. In my opinion, it just didn't need it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Lighting up a cigarette for those <laughs> listening to audio. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't need blood. It didn't need blood. Um, I think that it was it was wonderful. It was probably one of the best matches I've seen at Wrestle Kingdom. Probably uh, I'll be debating about that with Okada and Omega and fucking Naito as well and, and Naito fucking Ibushi or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was it was fantastic. It was probably one of the best matches that I've seen live, like live watching. Watching live, yeah. But on reflection, like you sit there and I, like I could sit there and look at certain aspects of the match and be like, I don't, um, you know, like who am I? The fucking, you know, you go, who am I? Who am I? The wrestling police? Yeah, exactly. I ain't gonna fucking sit there and be like, takes a drag of the cigarette. Oh yeah, we can't. You can't. You can't do them moves that I fucking can't do. Like Jesus Christ. Like that's just sour grapes. <laughs> Um, no, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. I thought the pacing was really good in the first half. I thought it was going to be slow and methodical, which would have been weird. I thought they had really good pacing at the first half. Second half, they went into overdrive. Mm-hmm. I thought, like, the the strikes in the match were fucking amazing, which is down to great setting by both parties. Um, I don't agree with the winner. I found that really... It's beautiful. not who I predicted, I'll tell you that. No. Mm. No one would. I think it's it's a bit weird. Um, unless you're like running it back, which I've heard people say they're going to run it back at like a Forbidden Door 2.0 kind of thing. It's stupid. K Omega doesn't perform in America, so it's <laughs> it's, it's weird. Like Kenny, the present uh, the presentation of Kenny in 
Japan versus America is, is not in Bali. That's like me walking out of a fucking club with my clothes off versus my clothes off. It, you know, it's an, not a very nice sight to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's still fucking me, but at the same time, it's not me. Um, presentations, like I thought, like the entrances and the execution of the entrances were great. Yep. I thought there were some really cool, like intricate spots where you're like, like the head through the door, I thought was fucking gnarly. Like, <laughs> yeah. just like smaller bits and pieces that I I really popped for. Like, but when you're sitting there and throwing your twenty eighth V trigger, um, <laughs> yeah. you need to realise that it is kind of there's certain redundancies that are there to be made. Um, but I thought Will Selling actually wasn't wasn't bad i thought it was actually quite good i I think he made a point to do that because i i think he knew the big criticism coming in would be that he's not selling so he made a point to sell the the thing is with selling it's very shouty it is it's very and yeah this he's had he's had more over the top selling before and this was a little better if there's one thing i hate in wrestling is is Talking like <laughs> like when wrestlers kind of like you son of a bitch and they just go and they do it over and over so talk over. We wrestled with a guy who uh, talked big, all the time. Big talker, big talker. But like, but I think then you can sit there and say it like. If you want to go that route, then you can go with Jay White in the main event. And, like, oh. I don't need someone to give me exposition yes. in a fucking wrestling match. Yeah. yeah. His heat I'm was... i not Shyamalan film. I am not here for it. I am watching yeah. a wrestling match between two great wrestlers. And I don't need for me to sit there and go, I'm booing him because he... He's mean. He's not cheering, but now he wants cheering. And yeah. He's blaming Okada for the cheering. But it yeah, was, oh, you didn't know that Okada caused COVID. No, 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 I actually heard he did. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very good source. <laughs> it was Okada at the wet market with a pangolin. <laughs> Jesus fucking <laughs> I got him. <laughs> got him good. He got him good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's it. He's over. He's that, done. A, a, a rare end to the game clue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sorry, Sam. Cluedo. <laughs> Cluedo. Look, the thing is, with Jay Wyatt, I, I don't know about you guys, right? We don't like him. We're not fans. Thank fucking God. Okay, now I can, now I can properly. Right. Yeah. Everyone likes him, and I feel like it's... It's just me. Oh, I'm the problem. You know, that Taylor Swift song. Am I the asshole? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Which is a very mid-album as well from Taylor Swift, but that's... that's Got her. Hear that, Tay-Tay? Sam's coming. (laughs) Um, No, I don't like him. No. It's not even a case that, like, oh, I dislike him because he's a heel. No, I don't like his wrestling. He's boring. He's boring? Yeah. Yeah. He's boring and shouldn't be world champion. Can you sell him to me? Can you tell me why people like him? I don't know. Because, I, I, because he wrestles in New Japan, so that makes <laughs> him good automatically, I guess. New Japan picked him as top gaijin for reasons unexplained. and Because uh, they lost all their top I gaijin. I guess because they lost. Because like, he, he literally replaced Kenny Omega. Because, like, you remember in 2019 when all the guys yeah. left, because they were going to build to Omega Okada at Madison Square Garden, and uh, yeah. then Kenny left, and they just slotted Jay White in and continued. Continued on, and now Jay White is a main eventer because of that. Also, I feel like the big thing that we need to discuss here is he has one of the worst fucking finishes as well. He's Bray Wyatt. <laughs> He's Bray Wyatt. <laughs> like, like <laughs> oh my God. you got him again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he is like, like I get, like I get the fact that you have a finisher that you can hit on anyone anywhere, which is really cool, and I do believe that you should be able to hit a finisher on anyone. But at the same time, your finisher is shit. Agreed. And you're the main event guy. You're the world champion, and your move is shit. Yeah. yeah. One of the things, well, I'm going to send for Kevin Kelly here, and I will never ever send for Kevin Kelly in my life because I love him. He's probably the closest thing I'll ever get to a life partner. But... <laughs> Why are you sitting there? He hits a complete shot during that match. Yes. A complete shot is his fucking finisher. Uh, Only the end of it. (laughs) He does a a different thing 
into the complete well, shutdown. Use them back even more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it's fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> That's like the difference between getting a massage and getting an erotic massage. <laughs> it's a difference between a lariat and a rainmaker. It's the same move at the end of the day. You just do different stuff to get there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, no, 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 I shall disagree there. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> no, no, I will disagree there because the momentum that it takes, if you want to talk kayfabe, right? Mm -hmm. The momentum it takes to pull them in actually gives them additional, like... Sure. Thrust. momentum. Right? Torque. No. Him moving him down probably two inches more, yeah. I'm telling you right now... Perhaps not? Give him additional momentum. I see. Burn it! <laughs> <laughs> I want charts. I'm just saying, look, I ain't... Uh, look, I'm only here to talk about facts. If you want to talk about facts, let's talk about facts. Also, as well, I'll, I'll throw this out here. I know this is a, a you know you're talking about wrestling, but Uno Emery uh, is is a great football manager as well. And I, I've had enough of telling people that he isn't. Um, I know it's a wrestling king. You're talking about wrestling kingdom, but do you know this guy, Drew? Huh? This re who's this football manager? What's his name? Uh, Uno Emery. Uno Emery. Yeah, he's the yeah. manager of uh, Aston Villa. Yeah, he's a great manager. He also has, if someone tapped into his promo ability, that'd be the most over person in the world. Hmm, okay. Because he sits there and he opens everything with good evening. <laughs> good evening. Like Alfred Hitchcock? <laughs> good okay. evening. Know, what? Did he's you just do Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock as Dracula? Dracula? <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock was Dracula. Watch a movie. <laughs> he's he's good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, put in. No, I, I don't know. What did you guys think of Wrestle Kingdom? It was short. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, nothing until the junior four-way, which was, like, third from the top, got any time. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, what did you think about, like, was there any matches? Like, I, I really liked the uh, Zach and Ren match. Like, I thought it was actually really good. Zach and Ren was good. Uh, like, very the, out-of-nowhere finish. Yeah, the finish really came out of nowhere. Yeah, but I feel like they were going for that shoot finish, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That, that was the vibe. Yeah. Um... How about the FTL match? What, 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 I wanted more. Uh, yeah, I know. wanted more. More. Yeah, I was expecting better. More, more, more. I thought maybe uh, after the fact, I'm like maybe FTR was sad like, that well, they lost all of their tag titles in three weeks. <laughs> yeah, I also kind of just knew they were losing. Yeah, also you kind of know the finish, so you're like that's oh, one yeah, less exciting part. But yeah. Dax did hit a good powder. But Dax hit a good powder. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it's all about nowadays. Like. <laughs> It's about good power drivers that don't finish matches. But it's fine. <laughs> Correct. Right. He, he got over for his one power driver. Um, I, I dare ask about the women's match because I know I'm going to get like about 12 minutes of <laughs> shit here. I mean, they're both they're, great yeah. workers. They're both great and they got five minutes. They didn't get to do anything. Yeah. The bits they did were good. Guys, but guys, I don't think you're thinking about the bigger picture here. It's boss time. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, Sam, I'm going to I'm going to hang up on you. I'm going to hang up on you. Hang Sam. up on him. Sam, I'm going to hang up on you. Call me tomorrow. Your work is done here. <laughs> Goodbye. <It's> <laughs> 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 like one of the greatest things to ever happen on this podcast. <laughs> Are we still there? Oh, 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 How do you hang up? Kill on him. Him. You're There's right. no you way to him. hang up. It's impossible. You gotta click uh, on the video, stupid. Uh, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> God, no. Dig no, up. No, no, Dig. Yeah. He's gone. Dig up, stupid. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I kind of did. It was a little bit muffled. What did he say at the end there? I didn't catch it. I think he might have said the N-word. Oh! <laughs> no, he didn't. I was did, joking. Did he say the P-word? Like the other cool British guy that was on the podcast once? Did he say the P-word? Oh, maybe he did. Maybe he did a good one. Yeah. But, uh, Do Sam you remember... <laughs> We, we, you remember when Chris was here and he, he said the greatest thing we've ever heard on the podcast? I think I was in the bathroom. Right <laughs> Maybe. Uh, or he was afraid he wasn't going to be racist enough for the podcast and then he threw out the P word that British people uh, use. And Scott and I were like the happiest people that have ever lived. So good. We're I'm, like, Chris, you thought you weren't going to be a white British man wasn't going to be racist enough for this podcast. <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Uh, Sam Jude, ladies Sam and gentlemen, Jude, uh, in, inadvertent 
second special guest of the podcast. <laughs> second Sam, time it's happened. Sam Jude. Second time it's happened. Second time it's First happened. First time was Chris Frank. Hopefully this time has better audio. I don't know. I, I, it was picking up, but I don't know how good it picked up. We'll have to give it a... Let's see how it goes. It's okay. Hey, anything that can uh, cause me more work time tonight is great. Of course. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, hey, that everybody. was pretty much the review. As you, the- as, yeah, as you pretty much heard, uh, this was the uh, the <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom 17 review. Uh, I guess we can just quickly get right into it <laughs> and can, finish it up. Blast through her. Uh, the opening pre-match show was a... Yes, I am sweating right now because I had because I the way I had to (laughs) contort my body so my phone was by the microphone that Kelly and I are sharing and that so he could also see us on FaceTime probably didn't need to be a video call could have just been a he only he only video calls why because that's Sam. Because he wants everyone that's, to see him smoking. He, he loves showing off he wants, that he's a smoker. He, he wants everyone to see him lighten up those fags. <laughs> it's it's a term. It's YouTube, a British YouTube, term for cigarettes. YouTube, YouTube. This, this is a test. You can't be mad about we it. We said British cigarettes. You can't be mad about it. And we'll you see if you monetize this. You literally are not allowed to be mad about it. You're a cigarette. It, it is a legal government term <laughs> in the cigarette. United Kingdom for cigarettes. England zone sam do so it is it's 6 52 p.m pacific time specific Spe- specific time. time yeah of course what is it greenwich mean time? it's eight hours ahead it's uh, it's 2 52 a.m there i think it's cute that you think he ever goes to sleep he doesn't yeah exactly sam can i interest you in a sweet tart rope please i have i have developed Twisted rainbow punch i have developed what i can only describe as a crippling addiction to them Thanks, Eve. This is your doing. Would you by like the way. one, Kelly Summers? You want to split this one? No, thank you. You want a kiss on the neck? No. You, mm. No, but did you hear the second part? Did you say kiss second. on the neck? I know. He doesn't like. <laughs> he doesn't like it. But if you kiss me on the neck while we're doing this, I'm gonna go. <laughs> and then it's, yeah, it's gonna then, be I'm, then I'll be embarrassed. Exactly. <laughs> Some uh, really quick up to off top. Don't forget the all requests live spectacular is still, still going on. on. You can still get in your late requests. Fifty dollars. Anything under ninety minutes. It is a hard cap at ninety <laughs> minutes right now. I am not and accepting. Only, and it's only going down. I am not accepting two hour and nine minute movies at the end of this fucking all request where we have yeah. to struggle to get through the here's end. A, here's a rare call out slash thank you. <laughs> Taylor B. Thank you for sending us $100 for two movies. Yeah. Also, Taylor B., <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. For those two movies being an hour 59 and two hours nine. Boo! Can uh, can I make a request right now? I've got 50 bucks in your back pocket, I, and I can feel around for it. You'll, you'll, you'll watch it on principle. <laughs> okay, go on. I, I'll one? give you a free one if you let me kiss you on the neck. Sure. Oh! <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I am requesting you watch Chirpy. <laughs> Done. <laughs> we'll watch Trooper for free. <laughs> so, so, yeah, you got until I'm pretty co- much until the last episode. I'm covered in sweat. To get your request to him. Don't forget. PayPal.me slash not Scott Henson. I was going to do it, but I was swallowing. Fair enough. Um, yeah, we got everything else covered. Scott has a cameo. You can follow us on social medias. Manscaped.com. Join, join the YouTube. Manscaped.com. Don't Manscaped. forget to use the code, code CATS20, CATS20 on any C-A-T-S, of your purchases. CATS20. That gives us $11 billion every time you use it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, become a, a, one of the higher tier subscribers and we'll give you a special treat maybe or we'll just not. It we all probably depends. Will. Yeah, hey, we're at... At the very if you're least, hearing this now, you already are. If you're hearing this now, 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 not now, not, 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 now, not Monday now, not yeah. If, if you're, you're hearing this, hearing this late, now, late, now, late in the Friday now, now, then you're a ten dollars or a higher subscriber. Yeah. You're, you're Congratulations. A real, you're, you're, a also, du- you're a dude dog, a thick hog, or the third tier. Actually, d- dude dogs don't get it. Thick, oh, thick hog and above. Thick hog but, and above. Okay. Yeah. And then you're a thick hog or the third one. That I just have, have a top real tier simp. I know, but I'm not happy with it. Needs a better name. I know. Let's call it with a new name. I mean, I'd love something that rhymes with Dude Dog and Thick Hog. Uh, toad Frog. Ants on a Log. Ants on a Log. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get into this. Sure. 
Opening match. Oh, this is uh, P.S. This is uh, the review for uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom 17. I already said that. Coming to you from January 4th. I already said that. 2023 from the Tokyo Dome. It's like you don't listen. Tokyo, Japan. Who said that? It's like your brains are scrambled because you're almost 40 years old. Who's talking? Who's talking right now? 40? Who turns 40 this year? No. 60 at least. Ah! (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you, Scott. Um... (laughs) Opening matchup, a three-minute exhibition match between a rookie and a nobody. A big, beefy Azerbaijani. Oh, he would kill you for miscountrying him. What is he? He's Kazakh, isn't he? I think he's Azerbaijan, man. I think he's Borat. I don't think so. He's nice. Check him out. What is him? What is him? What is him? (laughs) The age-old question that has plagued mankind. What is him? I do know he has a cool name. Fuck, he's Kazakh. Oh! You know what? You know what, Oleg? Fuck you. You're Kazakhstan. blowing out the, la- the levels. I, I bet. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to fix that. You know what, that Oleg? Too. Come at me, bro. <laughs> uh, it was what it was. It was an, a, an, a grappling match that went the three minute time limit draw with no winner. We got yes. Really? You couldn't just have him win? No. Yeah. Like, he's the reason you're having the exhibition match. It's the reason. He's an Olympic level amateur wrestler, and he couldn't win against a non amateur wrestler. It's the reason for the season. I know, but it's stupid. Uh, it was what it was that he did some very cool Sick arm, drag. arm drag, like fireman's carry yeah, into yeah. arm yeah, drags. Like arm takedowns. That were really cool. Yeah. Uh, he did. It was kind of like a reverse, like, arm judo throw over yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, he did, like, a pretty good uh, side, like, scoop slam. Yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, but, I mean, overall, it was. What it was, it was three minutes. It was three minutes. Uh, nobody won, so we all lose. Uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was, it was an alien versus predator. Whoever wins, we lose. Yeah. Um, we all predicted Oleg. It was a draw. It was a draw. Uh, How you don't just make him win, I won't, will never understand. Here, I have another rope. <laughs> Thank you for the rope. Uh, Drew and I predicted two stars. Uh, Kelly predicted one and a half. I don't believe... Uh, it doesn't get, didn't get a star I don't rating. believe Young Meltzer rated it. It did not. Because yeah. it was too short or he didn't care. Or Correct. he didn't see it. Um, Who's to say? It was what it was. How, Keep- how do you rate it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I forgot we did that. Like, like, how, how do you how do you fucking rate it? Like it's it, I, it was it was it was three minutes of just doing yeah. grappling. Like I'm I'm giving it two, uh, one, I'm, zero. I'm giving it half a star for every minute. <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> okay, that's how I do it. I'll you know it. my system. <laughs> that's that's why uh, that's why I'm giving uh, Osprey and Omega <laughs> eighteen stars. Uh, I'll give it two because he did some interesting. Judo-y stuff, and he and it, he didn't look bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, enough fine. I'll I'll give it half because of the cool <laughs> judo <laughs> stuff. Come closer to my. Sorry, yeah. I'll give it half for maybe the cool judo stuff, but like, mm-hmm. I just didn't care. Like, there, yeah. there's no, yeah, there's no reason to really have it other than to like, yeah, like you said show off the guy, but like, you went to a draw. Yeah, you know, why can't like, you just have him win? Yeah. The straight. whole point is to show him off. Yeah, yeah. and so you want you they think did a bit, you want yeah. him to win, maybe like. Two minutes and forty seconds, he sure. gets a, like a submission yeah. or something, or yeah. if he threw him around like a bit. But they yeah, just, oh, yeah, they legitimately just yeah. like they would try to get position, or they or, sorry, try to get advantage on one another, and mm-hmm. then they'd break apart, and then they'd circle, and then, and then just, you're killing like, 40, 30 yeah. seconds doing that, and then yeah. yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't understand what the reasoning was behind not just having him straight up win, or yeah, or throw him around for the entire three minutes, and then just the time runs out, like. Yeah. Are you, why are you protecting oh, Iowa so much? He's a, a young boy. He's going to leave on excursion, and people are going to forget about him for two years. And then he's going to come back, and they're going to yeah. go, wait, didn't that guy lose an exhibition match to the <laughs> big guy at Wrestle Kingdom two years ago? Like, no, uh, yeah. nobody's going to fucking remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, second match was the traditional uh, every year New Japan Rambo. Uh, it's called Rambo? Rambo. Oh, I thought it was called Rambo. <laughs> Ram. Well, here's, here's the thing. It's because, like... It's a rumble. Yeah. So, I, and I think in past years they might have just called it the New Japan Rumble, no. and then it then they started saying something else, and we're like, is it Rambo? And yeah, like yeah. Like, the, like like Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, like a they drew first blood situation. Um, but and like, is that just like them saying Rumble weird? But then we oh, then you started seeing it in text, and it was Rambo, and and so. 
At first, we had no idea what it was, and we couldn't find any information about it. Yeah. And the, then, like, before we recorded the yeah, preview, we, actually found, it. Like, we it, found the information. It means, so- it means something. It's, it's like a bunch of guys running in or something. Something like that. Uh, and the, but the reason it, they use a, it... It's a gong bong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Japanese for gong bong. gong bong. And, and, but they also use it because it does sound like rumble. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a double entendre. Entendre. Hot. <laughs> so uh, you know, rumble like style. One hurling, guy, right? one guy enters at every. One guy enters. Man, no man leaf. N- no four man leaf. Oh, interesting. One night, one man enters. It's a reverse thunder. Four, yeah. Uh, every minute, I guess. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty quick. Too. Uh, it gets down to the final four. The final four go on to the next day at the New Year's Dash show, and then they do a four way to determine the winner. Yeah. Uh, the which is always so weird. He's like, "All right, we're down to the final four, and the match is over, and we're done." Um, there was no surprises. There no, was no re- there was no returning old guys. Yeah, there was no cheeseburger. Yeah, it was just there, all new. It was Japan just all guys members. on the roster. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. That's not usually what they do. Because I think, well, I don't know if I'll be able to look up every single one, but I feel like every year. Oh, there's always been at least one. Yeah, there's like, like Fujinami last year. Fujinami last year. Scott Norton, Haku. Yeah, um, like other old guys too. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. of course. Um, and there's been some like maybe a. Either like a Kengo Kimura or a Seiji Sakaguchi in yeah. one year, like yeah. some like pretty old guy. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, like so, it's supposed to be pinfall submission over the top elimination. Don't tell Hukuleo that unless you Hukuleo <laughs> and you step over the top rope and eliminate yourself like Great Collie. You big yeah. dumb oaf. <laughs> yeah. Um. Again, it is what it is. There's not a lot going on. We uh, there are... there's like a couple little things we liked. What was it? Oh yeah, Hikuleo was giving someone a suplex, yeah. and then Ishii ah, yes. comes in, yeah. stops the suplex, and he and he no, the other he, guy double suplex. Him. He and Yo were but were fighting. Yeah. Hikuleo came in. Ishii and Hikuleo said, "Let's suplex Yo." Yeah, they go to suplex him, and Ishii switches sides, right. and then they double suplex yeah, yeah, Hikuleo. Because yeah. uh, why would you help the big guy when you could beat up the big guy? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, there was that, and then the Mighty Don't 69 did their finish move. I'm not sure and, that's their name. Uh, oh, and Hikaleo almost murdered Evil. Uh, yes. With, like, uh... Oh, uh, Full Nelson. Full Nelson. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, cuts like a knife. Cuts like a knife. Cuts like a knife. <laughs> I know it as the uh, Uncle Slam by okay. the by Del Wilkes, the patron. Ah, not formally we're from we're, <laughs> Before he sold the gimmick. Yes. Yeah. yeah. To Tom Brandy? Tom Brandy. Sincerely. Noted racist. Is he? Or I, that's just, I, I it just feels like I it. feel like he had something bad come out about him like not that long ago. I can see that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a battle royal with a bunch of garbage guys. Um, Kenta might be the worst oh wrestler in the world now. What worse, happened? Worse wrestling or worse hair? Both. Both. You gotta pick one. Nope, both. Gun to your head. Both. Hmm. There's, there's, Scott, there's no Drew, competition. Drew. Ah, uh, no, there's competition for hair. He's the worst wrestler. Because worst oh, hair, yes, yes. oh, is cur- cur- courtesy of recently moved to America Filipino boy TJP. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Yeah, Drew, I'm gonna give you a harder choice, and it came up earlier, but not on the pod. And I, I Uh-oh. need to know the answer on the pod. Oh, you have to make a choice. No, no cop out. No bullshit. But what am I doing? You Killing have, or you have to choose which one you have to spend time with and watch media of. Are you okay? Oh, you I know. Ready? I know what this is. Are you ready? And I'm not happy. Are you, are about you prepared? It. I'm not. I'm never going to be prepared. So just do it. The Sophie's choices are James Corden and Josh Gad. Oh, Go, boy. I'm gonna Kelly. Cho- you're free to answer. To I'm going to choose Josh Gad. Yeah, I choose Josh. I would love to be the reason why. But did no, you, did you see Cats? Uh, in fact, I tried to leave <laughs> Cats when James Corden was on camera, and you wouldn't let me. I grabbed you. You, like, physically held me down. I grabbed you down. by the scruff of your neck like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> and dragged me into my seat. Then yep. I said that I laid on the floor. Correct. Because I was so angry. Like, I don't want to actively be the reason. W- I don't want to kill James Corden. I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to be at my <laughs> I don't want to go to prison for killing James Corden. You're, you're a sideshow, Bob. I don't want to kill James Corden. Yeah. I just want James Corden not to be alive anymore. I would <laughs> like to have find someone <laughs> who's got the skill set. <laughs> a particular set of skills? To make somebody disappear. <laughs> And 
No one ever finds out. There's no connection from them to me. Mm -hmm. They don't get caught. Yep. But I will always know that I'm the reason James Corden is <laughs> no longer alive. <laughs> And I think anybody listening who's from the UK yeah. will agree with me. Yeah. I think everyone in the United Kingdom absolutely fucking hates him oh, they do. and does not understand why he's popular in America. Correct. He's a fucking scum of the earth. Yeah. So the answer is Josh Gad. I would watch Frozen every cool. fucking day if James Corden was dead. Would you watch Pixels? I'd watch Pixels. I'd watch a third thing Josh Gad's in. The Comedians with Billy Crystal. That werewolf thing that we discovered that yesterday. Werewolf thing. Uh, yeah, Kelly, you, you, are you on werewolfnews.com? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, not only I'm the moderator of it. All right. Moderator. Jesus. I apologize. Uh, do we know anything about wo the, I believe it's a Peacock series, Wolf Like Me? Yes, I do With know Josh Gad it. and I, I didn't know it was he was Isla it. Fisher, I believe her name is pronounced. Isla Fisher. Isla Fi Oh, the Isla of Fisher. Yeah. Oh, the, the Wes Anderson movie, Isle, Isle of Fishers. Uh, yeah. yeah. I I knew about it. Like, I yeah. heard about it. And I've seen, like, the screen cap thing for the cover, whatever you want to call it. Uh-huh. I have no idea what it's about or anything we don't like either. that. But like, well, I we looked, looked it up and we got the, a little the bit. The implication is that Isla Fisher is a secret werewolf. Mm -hmm. That's why I, and somehow Josh Gad is in the mix. And looking at it, I was like, this looks like the kind of like the Teen Wolf remake, but like when it's they're all sexy and yeah. like they're all in high sexy, school, but they're sexy like, Josh Gad. Yeah, they're all in high school, but they're twenty seven. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it, it had Teen Wolfy vibes. Yeah. But, like, from the trailer, you have no idea if it has Gives you no information anything to do with werewolves. Wolves, yeah. Okay. But it, it seemed from descriptions that it did. Okay. But, so, yeah, that's uh, that's your homework. I'm trying to look it up on Twitter if I can find any, like, TF or anything, but I, I couldn't. Um, anyways, <clears throat> Battle, Battle Royal, whatever. Yeah. Kenta sucks. Uh, the final four were Great Okan, Shingo Takagi, Sho, and Toriyanu. Shingo Takagi, who, uh, f fun fact, little uh, little tidbit here, uh, who is the defending world champion at last year's Dome Show. Don't worry, he makes up for it. You know what he does? I, you know, I double. He double makes up for I it. I can't believe he did. I was I did so not happy. Think, I, not think it was and I was saying he better fucking, he deserves birth. Um, anyway, we didn't, we'll, we'll get to him. We didn't pick a winner, but both of us said that Yano would be involved. So I'm counting that as a win. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I say I predicted a star in a quarter. You predicted a star in three quarter. Kelly, I don't think you did, but who cares? Know. Exactly. I was like, I, I don't even know how to predict this. <laughs> yeah, so. M Mel Meltzer gave it two. Oh, I think Meltzer overrated. Yeah, it, it it's, it's nothing. Of, it's it's in yeah. the ones. It's nothing. Nothing it's happens. A, yeah, I'm, yeah. Moving, I'm giving it a one. Yeah, I'll give it. Uh, it. I gave. The exhibition one and a half. I guess th also one and a half. I don't think it was worse than the exhibition. I'm counting it as a win because we both said Toriano would be involved. Absolutely. And he did the same thing he's done the last two years. Which is nothing. Not get in the ring. And not win. get involved. Be in the final four. Yes. I mean, the system works. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it a one. Just, if it's not broke, yeah, don't fix it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, from from here on, uh, keep track of how many you got right. Kiss my ass. Okay. Kiss, kiss Scott, kiss my fucking ass. Um, so uh, we got the Antonio Inoki Memorial Six Man Grandfather Tag Team Matchup, where everyone is over fifty, some are over sixty, and almost seventy. So I tried to name the participants in ascending order of age, and I would like to give a special f off. <laughs> <laughs> to Yuji Nagata and Minoru Suzuki, uh -huh. who Sit their faces. who screwed me. I, Sit their faces, guys. I would not. Uh, who screwed me? Do it. Uh, I say Kojima. It. Fuck him. He's old. But Kojima's in the right spot on my list, so he he has done nothing to wrong me. But Yuji Nagata. Oh, sorry, Yuji Nagata. Sorry. Is two months older than Minoru Suzuki, which screwed my list. But otherwise, I had it right in ascending order. Uh, who's who are the people you in the match? Can't do it again. No, you got Num it off top of your head. Who's the, the young boy? Was Togima Togi Makabe, Tiger Mask, Kojima, Minoru Suzuki, not Yuji Nagata. Yuji Nagata, not Minoru Suzuki. Tetsuya Fujinami. Um, Sad. the match was nothing. 
It there was, was one fun the spot. The match was nothing, but the finish was oh, something. Oh, well, oh, there, you're, you're talking about a spot earlier first? The one spot that was good was Kojima got Minoru Suzuki in the corner yes. and was doing his, like, unloading his chops. Yeah. And Suzuki was just kind of like, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch. <laughs> this is nothing, this is nothing. Fuck you, I fuck you. you. I hate you, I hate harder, you. Harder, harder, harder. And then he goes, you're like, fucking let's go. And then he like, unloads and Minoru Suzuki's like, this is nothing. Literally, this is nothing. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if they followed... It was close to that. It might have been the very next spot where uh, Kojima throws him corner to the corner, yeah. runs in with the elbow in the corner, and then typically rolls the guy down, climbs up, does the flying elbow. Does but as the... soon as he, he 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 hits the elbow in the corner, uh, rolls Suzuki down. Suzuki, Suzuki just rolls right up to his feet, hits a big like running Yakuza kick in the corner on Fuck Kojima. Him. Yeah, it was great. great. I'd watch that singles. That'd be, that'd be good. Yeah. The finish, however. Oh. Oh. Uh, Tiger Mask, who mm-hmm. is, what is he, 54? Uh, maybe even 52. Did we say 52? Who was the youngest? Makabe was the youngest. He was 50. No, he was 50, even. Okay, then Tiger Mask was 52. Tiger Mask was 52. Yeah. So, 52 year old Tiger Mask tries to jump on the shoulders of 50 year old Togi Makabe <laughs> to do. <laughs> A victory, a victory roll. roll that then Makabe would sit, drop down to his down knees on, and pin him. Uh, uh, Brett Owen WrestleMania 10 finish. Yeah. So uh, so picture that. Picture that. Picture that. That's what's supposed to happen. Picture that and don't watch this finish and then pretend that's just what happened. Yeah, and correct. everyone goes home happy. Instead of Kelly... <laughs> <laughs> Collapsing to the floor. on the floor yeah. at this and finish. Tr- and trying to remove Drew's pants. And, trying to and remove crawling Drew's over to me and dragging my pants down. <laughs> and then we did some stuff... Um, that's why your tongue hurts. That's why my tongue hurts. So he jumps up, but only he gets can't. one leg on Makabe's oh, shoulder. Yeah. Can't get the then other one up. they can't get the momentum to get his other leg up. Then they're just so, like dump so it. So he just falls to the ground. Dump it. Dump it. Dump it. Yeah. Uh, he falls to the ground. Then Makabe goes to pick him up. Says something to him. Obviously, he then proceeds. It, to... it was the correct idea. Yep. It, it was the. It was doing the second half of a victory woe. Vic, a victory woe. Wo. It was doing the second half of a victory woe. <laughs> <laughs> with the guy already on, <laughs> with the guy on the ground and he just uh, brings his legs up like he's gonna roll through and then, and then just, just sit down sit on down. that however however <laughs> Makabe even though he's the youngest guy in the match he's the baby of the match he's still it's like me in this podcast is still an old man I consider myself the Togi Makabe of this podcast oh cause you're an old man I consider myself the Daniel Makabe of this podcast <laughs> So uh, he goes to sit down, but he does it in a very slow, delicate manner. And, like, as to not hurt himself. Yeah. <laughs> Legs are never hooked. No. no. He just 69s them. 69s them. Yeah. And it's that's kinda, it. Match but, over. Like, but he's not lying on top of him. He's no. just kind of like... Eh, very gingerly yeah. on top of him. Hands, hands on his... Yeah, he's always doing a push. Yeah, barely making contact. Yep. And then and that was the end. One, two, three. One, two, yeah, three. One, two, three. Oh. Hey, happy birthday, Antonio Happy Nuki. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think we all chose Fujinami's team. We somebody did it, and his name is Drew. Oh, I picked the other team. Drew picked Team Nagata. Okay. Yep. I I couldn't tell you that I did. So I think you thought Fuj might take the pin. Yeah. No, we just and put it put over a young. Boy. No, <laughs> we discussed whether or not he would take the pin or give the pin. That's answer, what you and I talked about. The answer neither. Neither. Yeah, but well, I bet I did, we didn't know that. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, and also, if Fuji uh, did, uh, he did a dragon screw leg whip. Oh, 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 oh. A, a move he invented. Yep. Yeah. And then g- got too big for his britches <laughs> and did a second <laughs> dragon screw three. leg. No, no, no. He did two. Yeah. 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 Then two did, were fine. Yeah. And then and third then he, goes, he was then whis- whiskey Icarus flew too close to the. Very tired. He, had to, the third he one. fell down and grabbed his head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why did I do a third? The hubris. Yes, I'm so dizzy. Of a third dragon screw at age 69. The sex number. Nice. It's like he got a the sex jet number. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, Fujinabi Squad. Uh, so I had Team Fuji. Kelly had Team Fuji. Drew did not. I had uh, two and a quarter picked. Drew had two and a half picked. Kelly had two picked. Dave Meltzer gave it two and a quarter. What would you give it having seen it? I think it's worse than that. I don't think it's two and a quarter. What would you give it if the finish was good? Two? Yeah. (laughs) One and three quarters? So like one and a half? I've given too many one and a half, so I'm giving one and three quarters. I will also give one and three quarters. I'm going one and a half. It was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. 
so the next match was the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship match. The defending champions of catch two out of two, not twenty-two. No, no, two out of two. Correct. Because there's both of them, and they both catch. There's two of them, and they both catch. Yeah. Uh, of uh, TJP, who's got, as I noted before, uh, recently immigrated to America, Filipino boy haircut, it's, and it's uh, Francesco Akira, who is uh, a weird mutt. Uh, <laughs> he is. Uh, it also says with Gideon Gray, but he wasn't there. He was not there. Which is, I, I think the, the I think there was an Aussie flight that didn't. Oh, is Gideon Aussie or British? I don't fucking care. I think he's British. Actually. I don't even know who he is. He's the, he's one of the ugliest people in wrestling. Uh, it doesn't even he doesn't even have a page on Wikipedia. So have I, you seen a picture of him? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, he's ugly. Have you seen a picture of him, Kelly? I'm gonna find you a picture of Gideon Gray. He's does, he, a, does he have a picture of himself in the attic that he can never? <laughs> <laughs> the portrait oh, of Gideon Gray. Oh, I like Write that. Write it down, Scott. I like that. Wait, no. I always think it's it's. What's the is the book the picture of Dorian Gray? I always think portrait, but I think it is picture. It might be the picture. I, yeah. I don't care. I'm, I want to be accurate. I don't care, and I wish you would stop trying. <laughs> uh, I'm going to find you a picture. Of okay, who wrote it? Who, who wrote it? Oscar Wilde. What else did Oscar Wilde write? The Importance of Being Earnest. Who, who was? Hey, hey Vern, The Importance, the importance of, being of Being Earnest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so catch two out of two, uh, to being challenged by uh, the winner of the tag. Tur- Hold on. Tag- it, Gideon Gray is this guy in Zootopia. Yeah, you didn't yeah. know that? I, no. He was, he's the, I, mean, he's the I remember there being a Gideon. I he's the fox that, was that uh, bullies her yeah. as a kid. Yeah. And yeah. then he turns out to be kind of like a, a, a nice guy. Like He's yeah. like, he's oh, I'm, I'm sorry that I was such a jerk. I just was a kid and didn't know any better. So the ugliest also, wrestler I'm of gay all now. time. <laughs> I was so I'm gay. a gay I son was and boss. I was so gay. <laughs> look, at, look at this disgusting human being. Ugh. Yeah, he's <laughs> ugly. Those fucking gums. Oh, he's a, he's a mess. He's a He's got a weird... Weird head shape. He's got a. He's got some gum action. He's going friends. On. He's got to be friends with somebody. That's, like, that's a fucking James Bond villain. Like, yeah, that, that he's he's got to be friends with somebody. Got to be because there's no way that that guy gets on. Oh, here, here's one. Oh, it's worse when he had hair. Oh, it's worse when he had uh, hair. Uh, he's a ghoul. That ha- yeah, he has to have a portrait of himself <laughs> that he can't look at, uh, but or he'll no, melt. I think he, but he keeps looking at. That's, it. The, that's <laughs> the portrait though. Yeah, that's the portrait. That's the portrait. <laughs> So you can't Google it. <laughs> God damn. Uh, what are people talking about? Anyway? Oh, no. <laughs> so, got me. So it's uh, Catch 2 out of 2, TJP and then Francesco uh, Akira versus the winner of the Junior Tag League, Leo of Leo Rush and Yo. Uh, it was... I thought it was good. Fine. <laughs> it was fine. Leo Rush got hurt. Pretty early on, just blasted his head open, blasted his face open on the on the diving onto the did ramp. Even, Sorry, PWG. <laughs> is that what did Oop, it? I don't, I don't remember seeing what actually did it. I th- it was a it, bump on the ramp. It was a dive. It was a dive onto the ramp that oh, he went what, face it, first. Was it the the low? I think so. The low tope, or was he already bleeding for the low tope? No, I think it was the low tope. That makes sense. And I think he just didn't really get caught that well. Went face first into a LED, LED board ramp. Yeah. Which, there were so many fucking bumps on that ramp in yeah. the show. Yeah. But, I mean, there's always ramps in New Japan, but, like, when it's a regular ramp, that's fine. But, like, you're on an LED board. That probably costs $10 million. <laughs> yeah. And you're just taking brain busters on it. <laughs> um, yeah. It, I thought the beginning was kind of really slow and didn't you really like, do anything. You were like, this is a heavyweight tag. I, was, yeah, I want a junior They did tag. eventually get to the yeah. point where they were doing, like, high-flying and counters and flippy flips. But yeah. I thought the beginning was kind of like you're just wrestling like a regular tag match. You're a junior tag. You're supposed to be going like just... 100 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, if you're getting 10 minutes, you're supposed to be going 100 miles an hour, balls to the wall for 10 minutes, and then you do the finish. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, like there were there were some good spots. There was a blown spot where Leo Rush does like a bounce off the bottom rope back into the ring for a stunner. Uh, he went to bounce off the bottom rope and didn't. didn't. Bounce that so then much. he just sat there. That's and happened then before. Akira yeah. had to drag him into the ring. Didn't he have like a way worse version of that in WWE once? Yeah. Like and and it was when like, he was a manager for Bobby Lashley. He was a manager for Bobby uh, Lashley. Yes. <laughs> But like in some of the other stuff, we're like, man, Leo Rush moves so good. Yeah, it's a shame he's so hateable. Yeah, correct. Yeah, but don't let his seventeen-year-old son hear you say that, or he'll beat you up. <laughs> and how old's Leo? I don't know, like thirty. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know. I, I I think in the in the grand scheme of things, it's very forgetful. And in like by this time next year, we're going to go. That what, was a match we're last say, year. What was the junior tag match? Yeah, we're, we're gonna go. Leo Rush had a junior tag. Leo, right, match. he's been retired for almost a year. <laughs> Well, no, he's been retired for almost three months, but then he was also he also almost had retired an earlier retirement earlier year. in the year. <laughs> uh, I think I said Leo. Uh, Drew and I said Leo. Uh, Kelly said TJ yeah, Akira Kelly, going out on a limb and being correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, I predicted three and three quarters. Drew predicted four. Kelly predicted, predicted three. Dave Meltzer gave it my prediction: three and three quarters. Um, I don't know if I would have given it that much. I'm going, what would you give it? I'm going way lower. I'm going three. Four and a half? I'm going three. Four and three quarters. I'm fine with, I'm fine with three, because, yeah, I mean, it, it was fine, but, like, I, like, it, you're right, it wasn't that memorable. Like, I actually didn't even remember it until you brought it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. a match. Yeah, that that's right. Thing. That was a thing and that we, we And we had talked about it earlier with Sam, and, like, so yeah. I yeah. forgot about it, so. Yeah. I think it's very forgettable. The beginning was just too nothing. The, the, the beginning being nothing didn't help the fact that later it was good. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I think for me, leveling it out, it was just okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And when the junior tag matches used to be four ways that were fucking incredible. Yeah. What was yeah, the what, junior tag last year? See? Ooh, exactly. Let, Same thing. Let me think about it. Let I know me, I know one team. Phantasmo and Taiji? Against? Who were there any juniors in New Japan in were there any, early were there any 2022? Whites? Is the main question. Were there whites? Kelly, you want spoilers? Yeah. <laughs> spoilers for last year's Dome Show? Those are good spoilers. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, sorry. There's two days. Two I days. was gonna say, there wasn't one. Um, who the yeah. sh- no show was already healed, so it wasn't showing yo. So I have no damned clue. Oh, was it a uh, former ace of the New Japan Junior Division, Ryusuke Taguchi, and and his little little karate buddy, Master Awato? Nope. Oh, oh, it was oh. the Mega Coaches. Rocky. Rocky and Taguchi and the defending champions who won. Yeah, that's right. Flying Tiger of Robbie Eagles and and Tiger Tiger Mask Mask was last year. Damn. See, that's how forgettable the Junior Tag Division is. That was also forgettable. Although I do remember it being better than we thought. Because we we thought it wouldn't be good, period. And it was good. It was fine. Yeah, Um, it was good. But not uh, overly memorable, obviously. Uh, yeah, so I'm going three, Kelly's going three, you're going also three because you're a coward and want to steal our answer? No, oh. I'm I'm no thunder. I mean, one of those is true. <laughs> I am a coward, but I'm not a thief. <laughs> I am a, I'm not a thunder taker. Uh, <laughs> I think it was better than three, but I don't think it was three and three quarters, so I am torn between three and a quarter and three and a half. I'm going to give him three and a half because I like TJ's haircut. Because uh, it reminds you of all the kids you went to school Fresh with. Fresh off up. the boat. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you're a thunder coward. You're the, it's the assassination of our thunder by the coward yeah. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> the exorcism of Emily Rose by the, the coward, coward Robert Porter. Porter. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. Is adding the assa- oh, by the coward Robert Porter so at the good. end of yeah. movies idols. The taking of Pelham one two three <laughs> by the coward Robert, Robert Porter. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, anyways. Um, Schindler's List by the coward. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the singles match for the IWGP Women's Championship uh, that was recently crowned after doing a tournament that no one cared about. A tournament that was very blatantly obvious who was winning the tournament. A tournament where the uh, international side uh, left something to be desired. Uh, I, can tell was, you, I can tell you the whole fucking tournament right now. Because I believe we it had, was Kyrie uh, getting a bye in Kyrie, the first round. Yeah, and I believe the Rocky. match, the match to uh, the, the other side of that bracket with Kyrie was where the issues lay. Uh, Ava White, who is completely untrained and nobody's ever heard of her she before, she was horrible against Jazzy Gabber, the alpha female herself. The alpha female. We watched that match. We did watch that match, and it was god awful. And it was ten fucking minutes. Yeah. Uh, so, so uh, how long was it, did you say? Was it 10 minutes? 10 minutes and 34 seconds. Oh, you got the what exact if, times right here. What if I told you that every match in that tournament went longer than this match at Wrestle Kingdom? Interesting. By wow. a lot? Double. Some, some 
more than double. I'm sure. Mayu Iwatani and Kyrie went 25 and a half minutes. And it was fantastic. And it was fantastic. And this match went, oh, I don't know, 21... You want to you recheck that? Just under six? Just under six. Minutes. Which was my fear going in. I'm Both like, our fears. This is, it. like, all things being equal, this is... On paper, top two matches on the card. Yep. Omega Osprey and this are on paper the two best matches yep. on the show. Uh, but I'm like, I bet they're not going to get a lot of time. Nope. But you know what? Even I thought they would get more than I thought five they'd and get, a half minutes. I thought they'd get ten. Give them ten. Or nine. Christ. They yeah. did good for five and a half. And yeah. the, you know what the thing that's really frustrating is that usually we would be like, well, they're women. But like, this oh, is the opposite. But this is the opposite because they're they're Japanese women. women and they're great. They're both really good. They're two of the best. But uh, I mean, Kyrie hit mm. two brutal yeah. spinning back. The fir- the one versus running. Yeah, Ooh. murder. Oh boy, murder. Ma- it made Aja Kong wince. <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said while we were watching it, they're like. The d- day one of Joshi training has to be yeah, yeah. Bridging German learn suplexes. German bridging suplexes. Tomorrow we'll learn rope running. Yeah, well, tomorrow we'll learn how to get into the ring. Right. Yeah, <laughs> like you take learn how to take them and give them. Yep, and that's day one. Yes. because every single one of them hits perfect, the perfect bridging German suplex. Yeah. Um, I think Kelly, you also said that you were, you couldn't believe how much gear they wear. Oh my god! Just like <laughs> how do you design yeah. Joshi gear? Yeah, and because there's always straps and pulleys and, <laughs> and feathers. And feathers. They and use every <laughs> simple machine. There was there was a wedge. There was a wheel on axle. Like, <laughs> yeah. like and yeah, because this thing's connected to that, but that's connected to this as well. And then when they move, this thing moves around with them, and it's just like how do you conceive of it? Yeah, and like the the, 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 the seamstress or the person who makes it yeah. must just have a goddamn nightmare making these things. Yeah, it's like oh my god. Like, yeah, unless it's the other way, and the seamstress is like spearheading it, cause, yeah. or if, like the girls are just going to her saying hey make me some some make me some cool gear and she's like you got it baby (laughs) (laughs) I have been (laughs) I I like the idea of the seamstress just having like what would be very funny is making a box of like supplies you have putting it aside Mm -hmm. some one of the girls asks for gear and then you just take a random box and you have to use everything that's in the box (laughs) she's doing she's giving herself like a guy's grocery game yes yeah (laughs) just like uh i'll take this box well i guess this is what you're getting you have a tail now by the way you have two tails (laughs) you have two tails tails plus feathers (laughs) and shoulder pads your bird dog and a piece that goes from your throat to your waist and uh your full ass is exposed (laughs) Like, yeah, it's yeah. nuts. Yeah. It's like, okay, you write down what you want. I'm going to read it before I go to bed. I'm going to memorize it. <laughs> then I'm going to drink expired cough medicine <laughs> and have a crazy fever dream. Yep. And then I will make... And oh, that's, what yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. It's hard to rank matches that are this short. Short, yeah. It, think, it was, it, like, for what it was, great. It was good, yeah. But can you really give... A high rating to something that literally had nothing, not a lot. Like you can't give it four. Like there was no selling, there yeah. was no rest moves, there was no downtime. No. It was just like Pick fight, fight, yeah. do your spots. Yeah. That it, was it. It, it, like I feel like they probably felt like that Paul and Giamatti joke where they're kind of like, where he's like mad about his career. Like, but you've done so well. Like, and they did well with what they got. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, well, you know, when you're a turtle and all you got to eat is lettuce, you learn to love the lettuce. <laughs> Like, you know, absolutely. Like, you're, like you're 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 good at it, but you're not happy about yeah, it. Like, exactly. like, yeah, they got they got fucked royally. On they that. really did. Uh, uh, what do we got? We all predicted Kyrie correctly. Correctly. Uh, I predicted four and a quarter. Drew predicted four and a quarter. Kelly predicted three and a half. Dave Meltzer gave it three and a quarter. I I'll give it three and a half because it's been the best match so far. But I I can't give it more than three and a half. There isn't enough. I can't either. There isn't yeah. enough meat there no. to actually give it a, yeah. a higher was, rating. Like they, they didn't fuck up anything. No. Kyrie's di- diving elbow look incredible. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, the back me. fist. Yeah. The uh, uh, lay on your stomachs and look at each other, and then oh, we, we thought they were going to kiss. kiss. Yeah. Like, After the first spot, yeah. they had like a both lay on their stomachs on the ground and yeah. look at each other. Then yeah. they got closer. Like, oh, they're going to kiss. Oh, and then Kyrie was mean. And but then uh, also mean. the fact that her oh, logo is yes, just straight up the Hell's Kitchen logo. Yes. Take the H. 
Get rid of it. Flip the K. That's my logo. Yep. Yeah. Kyrie's kitchen. Kyrie's kitchen. <laughs> but yeah, I just there isn't enough to give it a higher rating. Like yeah. there was nothing wrong with it. Yeah. No blown spots. Everything was crisp. Everything was great. But less than six minutes. It was a very good five and a half minute it is match. It's really for, hard to give it a high a, rating. A title match on your biggest show of the year. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Give it five more minutes, and I'll give it f- more than four stars. Absolutely. Probably. But like, yeah. I can't do it for six minutes. Under six yeah, minutes. I agree. Yeah. I'll stick with three. I'm gonna go three and a half. I'm going to split the difference during a quarter. Uh, does that mean it was worse than the junior tag by my standards? Yeah. But it was a, it was shorter. Doesn't matter. Junior tag was how long? Give me a, give me a uh, time. Junior tag was 10.29. And Kyrie and Tam Nakano was 5.56. Almost, almost oh half. God. Um, yeah, I'll, 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 fine. Three and a quarter. I'm sticking Kyrie. with the melts. I'm sticking with Big Dave. Uh, Never steer me wrong. The next one was the ta- religiously. Ta- tag team title match for the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships, which was the defending champions of FTR, uh, Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, defending against the winners of the uh, Tag League, which was Bishamon of Hiroki Goto and Yoshi Dash Hashi. Um, yes. This was good. It was good, dog. but it wasn't a dumb show tag team title match between two very good teams. It was it was kind of like a like a really good SmackDown tag match. <laughs> I like yeah. that. That's always kind of yeah. the reference point, yeah. but like but it's it, but true. It's, it's accurate. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Like this is like a fill in match in the middle of the show when it really should have been bigger, especially yeah. considering Bishamon had a. Fantastic That's match the thing. last year against a worse team. Last year got my hopes up for this year because going into last year, it was Bishamon against Taichi and Saber. And we're like, going in, we're like, this will be okay. And then they really overachieved. It was great. It was like four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And we're like, oh shit, way to go, yeah. guys. I'm like, man, I love Taichi and I think I don't hate Yoshihashi. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, going in this year, we got the same thing. We got Bishamon going into the tag title match again against, on uh, on paper, a better team than Saber and Taichi, FDR. Like, one of the, probably the best team, arguably, of 2022. And we're like, okay, oh, well, if last year is any indication, then this year should be even better. Four and a quarter, four and a half, go nuts, guys. Yeah. Uh, I predicted four and a quarter. You predicted four and a half, so you're very much on the same page. Kelly predicted three and a half, because he's a pessimist, and uh, was right. <laughs> and uh, Dave Meltzer gave it three and three quarters. I mean, also, ten minutes. Yep. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it just, it just wasn't enough. Yeah, like they there were a, they they teased hitting their finish. Yeah, and they did the same counter twice. They basically did. I, I was oh, expecting, yeah, because yeah, when they because they did it very early when they got Dax up and he and he kicked him off and did something and, and then, then did it again and then Cash pulled him out yeah. pulled Yoshihashi out yeah. And then they did it again, and Yoshihashi just stopped himself at yeah, the I was, rope. Yeah, I was expecting, like, it's fine if you set it up the same, but I thought you'd do something much different yeah. off the same reversal, and they didn't so much. Yeah. yeah. And, and I just felt like there wasn't any point where I really thought FTR was going to win. Yeah. You know, like, there, there, there was no bite. We definitely think, didn't think so going in. Sure. So, and they gave sure. us no reason to ever yeah. think There wasn't really different. any time that I, like, I bit, or maybe I was like, oh, FTR, like, m- maybe they'll win this. Because they hit their finish, like, I don't know, probably, if it went ten minutes, probably six minutes in, yeah. and we're like, nah, it's too soon, it's just going to get broken up. Yeah. And it did. Yeah, it did. Like, it, it just wasn't enough. Mm-hmm. Um, what did Meltzer give it? Three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. I think it's a little less. It could be three and three quarters, like, on, on, I don't, because, like, right, as of right now, I think the women's match was the best, but it had nothing. Yeah. This was longer than the women's match and had more, but, I mean, again, yeah, they didn't really blow anything. Yeah. Just, like, nothing was bad. It just it was, wasn't it was a under, big. underwhelming. Yeah. yeah. It, it's yeah. like going to WrestleMania and having an eight-minute intercontinental title yeah. match in, yeah. like, in, you know, like, in the 90s when it mattered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and it was pretty good. And it was right. So yeah. like, I'll go, I would I give the women's match three and a half. You give the women's three and a half. So I'll give it three and a quarter. 
Okay. It's it's not as good as the women's match, even though it went double the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll I'll go three and a half, same as the junior for me. Okay, and we all you and I went Bishamon. Yeah, and, and Kelly, Kelly went FDR. FDR. By act, oh well. By oh act, yeah, act. sort of by you know I, I I'll give I'll give it to him. Give it to him. I'll give it to him because yeah. Kelly Kelly thought the challengers were going to win the titles, but he had who the I champion switched. was yeah. switched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I give it three and a half. Uh, I give it three and a quarter. I mean, it. Yeah, it wasn't. There was nothing ne- necessarily wrong with it, but yeah, just underwhelming and. Oh, yeah, underwhelming and just. Uh, yeah, just wanted more. Yeah, and just. Yeah. Pretty much it. I know. Uh, there, there's not that much to say about nothing. it. Nothing. Yeah. No. Uh, the next match, number seven on the card, is the tournament finals for the inaugural New Japan World Television Championship because, God forbid, New Japan not have 14 fucking titles active at the same fucking time. Yeah, we definitely need more. Because what? Uh, one, uh, the KOP is now, a ti- is now a belt. It is a belt now. Junior tag, regular tag, women's tag, television tag, never, U.S., Heavyweight title, uh, never tag, or never six man. Oh yeah, which doesn't get defended <laughs> because Thank who God. fucking cares? Because it's House of Evil or House of Torture. Uh, then are you like I mean, pancakes. are we gonna count the two strong titles? Three strong titles. Oh my god! So there's they have twelve titles in their company. It's a lot going on. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. God, and like, of course, why would we keep the intercontinental title? It was like, funny, they're like, like, let's I'm... shrink one title and then add two. But like, more. I was glad they unified the world and intercontinental, and then like, then they add the women's and the TV. Oh great! So we're still net one more belt than yeah. we were. Yeah. That's I, I just don't understand why Fix you it. Need, like I don't know why you need it. I guess the idea is it'll get defended in the United States in like AEW on strong, maybe like fucking I don't know, impact. Oh, uh, it's a good thing they don't have another title called like I don't know, the US title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't fucking get it. I mean maybe it'll be like a house show main event title title or something. It's the the T V? Yeah. That's that's what they said. I think the T V title and I at least Even though why call it the TV I, title it's, it's on it's non-televised on shows, matches. Yeah. Good question. But yeah, they said the point of it is to have title matches on smaller shows. But you already that. have 11 other titles. Saying, you can't do an ever title on. So you can't or, or like a King of Pro Wrestling match on, on shows? like it's so fucking dumb. Yeah. Um so yeah, uh, the tournament finals were Zack Sabre Jr. and Ren Narita. Um, we were absolutely convinced Pretty Ren Narita was winning. Damn sure. Like Ren, Ren is Ren is one of the three young guys who are like destined to be the next Okada Tanahashi, like yeah. Naito or Nakamura, whatever the, you want to. The new new three months. The new new three months. <laughs> like they're destined, right? Yeah. So what better way than giving Ren a big? Like big win big for win a new, dome, title new title on the dome, yeah. and it's not the way they went. Mm-mm. But um, shows that we fucking. I up. I have said this probably every year. I'm that, gay. That that's every day, <laughs> not every year. Um, that Zack Saber's style is not necessarily for me. I don't really care for submission and grapple wrestling. Is Zack Saber's hair for you? I didn't. I didn't hate it. I mean, I he, okay with he it. bleached it blonde. He looks fun, weird. That was a fun new look. Now it matches the uh, the thing he loves the most. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he uh, dyed his hair the color of cocaine. cocaine. Yep. <laughs> um, every year I say that. I think I say yeah. that I just don't enjoy his style of wrestling. I don't re- don't enjoy grappling submission wrestling that much. I think it's fine in certain things. And then he goes and has a fucking match with Sonata that's like five fucking stars. Which was so, a lot of grappling and submission. <laughs> exactly, which really right? went against it. So I'm kind of like every... Oh, you, you legit gave that five stars, I right? legit gave that yeah. five stars. I, Good for you. I fucking love that match. I mean, it was awesome. But I was like... I was just surprised you liked it I so know, much. right? And so every time I see his Zack Sabre match, I'm like, yeah, it's going to be good, but I don't really care. And then... Every year he has a match, and I'm like, oh, that's really good. Why do I not like... What's the- my problem? I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just, like, his personality and his attitude that I don't like. Could so be. then that makes me think I hate him. Sure. Even though he has really good matches. But, like, every year he's ha- he has a fantastic, like, four-star-plus matches. Yep. And every year I'm like, yeah, that was way better than I thought it would be. <laughs> I mean... The- the- to be fair, you can hate someone and still say they're a good wrestler. I mean, so, I, so I, like... I kind of hate Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks just because yeah. of their personalities. Yeah. Um, 
I thought this was was really good. I don't think it was as amazing as it's probably being built up to be. Again, it only went ten minutes. Yep. And it was, you know, like I, at no point did I really think that there was like a, you know, like a biting on a finish. And then the finish literally came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, I know, like, when we were, like, Sam... Which Saber definitely does sometimes. Sometimes yeah. it'll just be like, there hasn't been a finishing sequence, arm bar done. But, but he wasn't really, like, working his arm at all. Not per se. Right? Like, no. he just put him in the arm bar out yeah. of a counter, and Ren immediately tapped. Yeah. I do, I like an immediate tap. I mean, yeah. yeah. That's because, like, that, yeah. that puts over the sub. Like, yeah. oh, if, if this thing ever gets on, it's over. Yeah. I like that. Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. But, like, is that even really his actual finish? Not really, no. right? So that, that was just kind of like out of nowhere. Like we were watching it and then we were like, oh, that's the finish? And then we had to rewind it we're to like, watch oh, yeah, it. That was the finish. we were kind of like, that didn't seem like the finish at all. Yeah. So, but yeah, like it was good. I don't think it's as amazing as everybody thinks it was. As Sam thinks it was? Or just like Meltzer probably gave it a pretty good rating, right? Meltzer gave it a four. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's a four. Yeah. So we, you and I, predicted Narita. Oh, yeah, Kelly went against the grain. Predicted Saber God, was yeah. right. Hey, oh, hey. <laughs> uh, I said four and three quarters. You said four and three quarters. Kelly said four. Uh, um, and let, let's start that. All of that was wrong. I said three and three quarters. You said three and three quarters. Kelly said three and a half. Going in. I'm gonna keep my three and three quarters. I don't think I, it's a four star I don't match. Think, I think it's not. But quite I don't four. think it's. Bad. So I it's, it's got to stay where it is, I, I think. I think it was the best to that point on the yeah, card, yeah. which it, would be three and three. If I'm comparing it to the women's match, which I'm saying is the best match so yeah. far. If the women has as much time as them, yeah. better. But It's better not. than the women's match, so it is a three and three quarters. Mm -hmm. um, where are you at? Uh, I'll, I'll keep it at where I had it. Three and a um, half? Three and a half. Okay. I, I do like... Like the grapple style and all that kind of stuff, but I think queer. <laughs> I think for who was that? Yeah. I said queer. Oh, okay. <laughs> all I heard was a grunt. He said a, a mean thing to me. Um, I think like I do like that style, but I think I almost prefer it a little bit more in your pancreas or your rings or your mm -hmm. uh, UF UWFI. Like you know, work shoot shoot re like, work shoot style. I kind of mm -hmm. like that a bit more. Like. And you it's like, and you can do flashy grappling. That's mm -hmm. more pro wrestling based, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't anything necessarily bad with it. So. There was a good soccer kick spot where they were literally just doing the like sit down and kick me, yeah, and yeah. then taking turns. Like that was really good. The kicks were really fucking mean. Yeah, yeah, Zach had some good kicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 that that was good. Like really solid. But I think it was at this point on the show that I noticed that uh, people sort of went against the grain of usual dome shows in that everyone got a little fat for this show. A little chunky. Yeah, a little chunky. Like, like They're bloated. Zach had a little pudge. They're and uh, Go Goto looked a little chubby. Goto looked chubby. All of uh, the old guys looked chubby. Evil wouldn't even take a shirt off. Well, yeah, but if you were evil, would you take a shirt off? No, I wouldn't show my face. <laughs> I, would, I would kill myself. Uh, even though he's married to Io Shirai, so maybe he's what? living his best life. I know, I know. Maybe he's living his best life. No, he's doing better than all He's of us. doing way better than <laughs> both yeah. of us. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was fun that everyone uh, bulked <laughs> for for the dome. They got Bulk, thick, no cutting. Thick, yeah. They got thick, <laughs> no cardio. Like, wait, it's January 4th? <laughs> yeah. oh, shit. oh, shit. I was planning for the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, next match is the singles match for the Never Open Weight Championship. Uh, defending champion Carl Anderson. Of Carl the, Machine Gun Anderson. Of World Wrestling Entertainment? Of World Wrestling Entertainment. Why does he have a New Japan title? Because New Japan are stupid. Okay. <laughs> hey, this guy won't sign an exclusive contract with him, and he might go somewhere else. You know what? Give him a title. See what he does. <laughs> See what he does. See what he does. Maybe I'll keep him. Was this a test? It was a test that they failed because of how hard it was to get him to come back and defend the fucking title. Yeah. So Carl uh, came to back to New Japan strong. Well, no. So he went to Impact. Yeah. Him and Gallows went to Impact, which then Impact worked out sort of an agreement with New Japan strong because New Japan wanted to use Chris Bay. Right. So they kind of like worked out like a, you know, there's a Bullet Club USA with like Jay White and them and whatever. And then they'll do strong matches. And then... They just straight up gave Carl the never open weight title they, by beating Tamatanga, yeah. and then realized, Wait. oh, maybe we should make him sign a contract so that he doesn't just go back to WWE Wait, in a couple what if, of months. And I, I know this sounds crazy, but what if like 
Vince McMahon gets ousted from WWE and WWE becomes a much more attractive place to work all of a sudden? What if you and, just like yeah. went there? And with what if the title? guy who's now in charge was somebody who hired me in the first place and, and likes really me. likes me? Yeah. Huh. Interesting concept. Yeah. Don't think it's going to happen. Oops. It happened. <laughs> So, Carl and... Speaking of which, fun day to be recording this, because Vince is back, Vince baby. Is back, baby. They're calling it the new January 6th. They are. They are. Uh, so I'm Carl, back, pal. <laughs> Carl and Gallows uh, re-signed with WWE, mm-hmm. re-paired up with AJ Styles. They, on commentary, recognized him as the never open weight champion. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because Hunter's in charge, right? Oh, so Hunter, they've Hunter's been like, they've been dropping like PWG references yeah. on SmackDown yeah, and yeah. shit. It's weird. It's, it's because weird. Hunter's it's in weird. charge, yeah. right? Like Hunter literally is like, "Why are we pretending that other things don't exist? It's stupid." Because Daddy Vince said so. Vince, man, I would fucking hate to be Michael Cole right now. Oh, oh no! He was so he had like happy. A, he had like a nice that Vince five was months. finally gone, oh, and he no. wasn't getting constantly the abused. Is back. And now, oh, uh, no. Michael, everybody, please, if you know anyone who knows Michael Cole, tell him we're sorry. Make sure you reach out to him to yeah. make sure he's okay. Ask, ask I would Cole's... hate for Michael Cole to kill himself. Yeah, because as much as he's an awful commentator, <laughs> oh, I he's really a person. don't want him to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. fair enough. Yeah. he's not James Corden. Check on Michael Cole. Yeah, and don't check on James Corden. And don't check on James Corden. In fact, give him some. Give him, give him, give him help. Give him, <laughs> push him in the right direction. Um. But yeah, so they tried to work out a deal where Carl would defend the title against Hikaleo at a uh, New Japan Strong show. But then Carl was like, eh, I don't really feel like doing it. Not feeling it. And then they were like, Carl, you ha- you have to give us the title back. And he was like, fine, I'll do it, but I'm not jobbing it to that big schlub. I'm going to do it in Japan because I, I control all the pieces. And they were like, uh-huh, whatever. Yeah. Also, P.S., fart, pee, and poop jokes. Yeah. They love it. They love it. That's what I want. So he beat Hikaleo, and then Tomatonga challenged him, so now we get the rematch for the title. Um, I don't know if anybody listening who is a wrestling fan <laughs> was aware of who Carl Anderson was in New Japan in the past, yeah. where he was like legitimately one of the best serviceable workers you have. Like He could wrestle anybody on the card. Challenge for world titles, win tag leagues. Like, he was awesome. And then... And also, maybe in terms of, like, as a match planner, what came up with some of the best sequences. Yeah. Counters and transitions, and he was great. Like, I, like, specifically with Okada and Goto, he would always yeah. do the wildest, like, crazy counter sequences. Yeah. And those looked awesome. Always looked great. Then, uh, originally, when he got signed to WWE... Was because uh, when Hunter pitched it to them, uh, Vince saw him and was like, God damn, pal, he's got to be like six foot seven. He's a giant. He's a giant. He's huge. Look at him next to those Japanese guys. <laughs> yeah. And then they bring him over and realize he's uh, barely six feet. Yeah. So 5'11", six feet. They were like, huh, that's not the guy. Where's the other guy? <laughs> also, very funny that Vince never remembered that Drew. Uh, that his tag uh, partner worked for ga- him for years. That Gallows was Festus. Yeah. That he, uh, he absolutely did not remember that. That is fucking incredible also whenever they got beaten who took the pinfall <laughs> yeah, yeah true true oh did you hear the thing about vince and burritos no that was he funny. thinks that sandwiches are burritos they were pitching something where i don't know big show or something okay. someone put laxatives in his burrito <laughs> okay. and vince was like no nobody's gonna know what a burrito is <laughs> and they're like a, a a Sorry, burrito, burrito's bur- pretty common food. Vince is like, no, nah, I, I don't know it. No one's gonna know it. Use something, and then they, then they, I don't know, like cereal then or something. Burger. And uh, and the punchline to that was uh, his assistant uh, brought him a burrito for lunch every day, ah! and he didn't know what it was well, that he was eating he, for lunch. He may or may not be mentally retarded. That's correct. So he's taken a lot of brain damage, and he's done a lot of steroids. Sure has. Um, so, uh, ever since Carl went to WWE and, uh, Vince didn't like him or Gallows and he just kind of made them a comedy gag team to help AJ not get beat up all the time because AJ's the man. Mm-hmm. Uh, they love fart, piss, poop, and penis jokes. And jerking off. And jerking they can't off. stop Can't masturbating. stop masturbating. <laughs> 
or, so, che- or cheating on his hot uh, Japanese and wife. And also cheating on his hot Japanese wife who then put him on blast on social media yeah, but yeah, then yeah, took yeah. it down and then nothing ever came of it. I think he hit her. Uh, he could, I mean, very well could have. He's, he's, a, a, he's a regular Dana He's a Dana real Dana White. Dana White. Jesus. <laughs> now they, all bo- uh, they are both bald white guys True. who are in combat sports. Uh, so, uh, Hunter being a, uh, Triple H being more of an open-minded man to the world of professional wrestling and there being things outside of WWE, uh, granted them permission to use Carl Anderson for this, uh, specific show. And, uh, show. I 100% was of the belief that Carl was not going to take this seriously. He was going to fuck around. I mean, the, I which thought, is what he did with Hikuleo in the last match. Absolutely. And I thought Gallows would be there too, which means there would be like fuckery. Tom Fuckery, but he uh, wasn't there. Yeah. So I expected this to be dog shit. It was slightly better than it could. <laughs> it like, w- I mean, it's the most wrestling moves I've seen Carl Anderson do in, in six years. In six yeah. years, Se- yeah. seven years. God, it was seven years ago they left New Japan. It, it was, yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, he like did stuff and like they were going buck from the beginning. Like the second move of the match was a fire thunder on the ramp. Yeah. That had previously taken Leo Rush's life. Yep. And hurt Carl's butt. <laughs> and hurt yeah. Carl's butt, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he actually did do They were a going lot. for it. But again, they got nine minutes. Yeah. So how much can you really give a nine minute match? It, it's very... It, it's hard to rate it, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We thought it was other going than, to be... Other than... Well, we'll get there. <laughs> I thought it was going to be one star. Yeah. You thought it was going to be one and three quarters. Kelly didn't know how bad Carl Anderson was, nope. so Kelly said two and a half. Yeah. Uh, Dave Meltzer gave it two and three quarters. Yeah. So, let's talk Would about... Would have been higher, I think, other than the finish. If yeah. the finish had worked out properly... Because the problem with it is that... Okay, so they both do cutters. Yes. Di- diamond cutters. Yes. Um, Randall Kenneth Orton. Randall Kenneth Orton cutters. Randall knockout? What does it stand for? Is it the Randall knockout? What Ra- does RKO Randall stand for? Randall Kenneth Orton. Or the old, like, uh, picture company. What did they... What did that... What was RKO Studios? Uh, Randall, Randall Kenneth Orton. Kenneth Orton Studios. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, what are you, me. retarded? <laughs> God, I need to stop doing that. I've been saying that a lot. Um, they both do cutters, so there was a lot of going for cutters, getting countered, getting blocked. Like, that was kind of the story of the, of the match. But... Tonga hit a j- top rope like a, like an Oz cutter. Yeah. And it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Why wasn't that the finish? Great question. Why, why did they try and do another one that didn't work? <laughs> did, did, I don't have the did, answer to your question. Didn't they do two that didn't work? Uh, I, I think, think there was one that was like bad but still wor- worked out. And then the one at the end where like, oh, he took, like Tonga a... jumped, Carl was already starting to bump and bumped like on his knee and hip. Yeah, yeah. and and and, and he basically took a even, back bump. Even ended up a little bit on top of Tonga and looked like yeah. it looked like at the end of the day Carl did the move. Yes, and then Tonga pinned, pinned him. him clean, and we were sad. And and Kelly did more writhing, did more and falling re- to the floor, removing of clothes, yeah. I mean, <laughs> throwing fuck. throwing feces. Like, like it was like Sam was saying, he had his work. Oh my on God! We until... <laughs> sorry. Let's finish talking about this. Then we'll get to one thing we missed. Okay. Yeah. He's like, he has working boots on until the finish. He was just like, <laughs> exactly. It, yeah. It did feel like he just gave up. He's just like, whatever. I saw. Like, I made it with. this far, which yeah. is further than I've made it in seven years. Yeah. But I'm not taking that finish. Good. I know yeah. we forgot. You know exactly what I forgot. The other thing that made Kelly fall down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, this one turned Kelly old, I believe. Yes, this one made her old. And I, I was walking around. So, and I had to go bike. <laughs> you had to go bike it off. Yeah. Okay. So in... Uh, well, let, let's finish this okay, and then we'll go back to okay, it. So... I'm not sure even I remember. Cl- one, close one, the loop one. One star, and one and three quarters, two and a half? Uh, uh, yes. That, yes. That was, yeah. Yes. yes. And Meltzer, two and three two quarters. Two and three quarters. Um, I will we, give... We all said Tomatonga? No, we, I, I said Carl. Oh, again, that's a good question. Um... Again, because I, I don't I don't follow any of this, so <laughs> uh, I we went have, into this blind. Uh, Tong- no, you said Tonga. Did I? Yep. Oh, sick. Tonga, Tonga, Tonga. Across the board. I would just like to point out that Kelly is currently five and one. God damn it, Kelly. I'm four and two. The trick two. is to not follow us. I'm four and two, and Scott is three and three, because he's bad at this. What did I blow? Uh, Besides a man. <laughs> wow. Well, you said Fujinami. And you said Narita. Was it? Yeah, and it was Fujinami, you silly goose. Wait, was it not? No, Where it was I? not Fujinami. Where am I right now? Who's it was the, the, the Yuji Nagata team. Who smells toast? 
Anyways, and I did you all say Leo? Yes. There you go. There's your three, stupid. Uh, and I got Nagata, Kojima, and Makabe. So I'm one better than you. That's correct. Good. Now shut the fuck up. So we we said Tonga. Kelly said Carl Anderson. No, we all said Tonga. Oh, we all said Tonga. Okay, yeah. sorry. Um, it was what it was, and I'm going to give it one and three quarters. I'm not going to think too hard about it because it was nothing. Two and a quarter. Uh, minus five. <laughs> I have a one and a half. Yeah, I I didn't care. It was much like about it. pretty decent until the last move, which yeah. is so much more than I was expecting. But yeah. one thing I did notice too is that Carl was moving very oh, slowly. Oh, Carl, yeah. moving like, slow and also continuing the trend fat. Thank you. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, bloated. Yeah. Yeah, everyone mistimed their cut. <laughs> Uh, Maybe what? it was all that air travel from Florida to the Tokyo. Could be. Uh, the important thing we forgot was after the ladies match. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, maybe that's why it only had five, because the segment was another <laughs> ten, <laughs> five or ten minutes. That's but, right. Uh, so right. after Kyrie wins this very short but pretty good for what it was match, uh, Mercedes Monet, Monet. made... Her way out. Uh, what a the, terrible name! The erstwhile Sasha Banks. What a fucking terrible name! I don't. You, love have, it. you have to try and keep it close to what your other one was. Chris Jin, the <laughs> Doodly Boys. Uh, uh, Silver Sand. Silver, Silver Sand. Sand. That yeah, that was a good one. Uh, the, Hippo. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, Sam Jude alluded to, it was in fact boss time. Boss time. <laughs> they got him hanged up on. So, uh, Sasha Banks came out. She had crazy cool hair. Yeah, I, I first thought it was leopard, but it was it's like fire. one color fire, of yeah. flame yeah. going into another color Blue, flame. Yeah. And the, the in-between part looked like leopard rosettes, but they weren't. Yeah. It was just flame shit. Uh, but it was, it was a crazy hair. Like, it looked like a wig. I don't know how you even do that to real hair yeah so they did a good job on because it hair. wasn't real hair and that is the end of good jobs that were done <laughs> because uh, mercedes had one thing to do one job in this one job you stupid bitch she had to hit one move she get get in Kyrie's face whack her hit a move and the move she decided to hit is this a move that sasha banks could does you. couldn't yeah, could couldn't tell fucking anybody, tell you anybody. i couldn't tell you uh, she had to get the E out of her, so she had to make up new moves. I guess so. So she... Gory special. Hooks her up into a gory special, but, like, gets it very quickly and sloppily, and, like, doesn't have things set yet, but then just keeps on moving, because she, she was in a hurry to do this move. Too much of one, one might argue. Uh, and the the move is supposed to be gory special, swing her all the round to the front, all the way around to the front of you, hit a DDT. Yeah. Uh, but she did not have the gory special hooked well, and when she swung her around, Kari went straight down to the to ground. To her knees. And she was done. Uh, and then Mercedes like, well, I'm not finished my move yet. <laughs> so she gave her a DDT already on the ground. Yeah. And it, and it turned Kelly into an old man. Yeah. <laughs> and the crowd completely died. Oh, yeah. the, oh she killed dead. the Tokyo Dome. Dead. Completely fucking dead. Nothing like blowing your new finisher the first time you appear and then expecting the audience to be like, oh, that's oh, Sasha Banks. Oh, my God. Who uh, did that as well? Someone also did. Was it uh, Sean Stasiak? Who was it? I don't know. I, I seem to recall us watching a Nitro and he Could came in and, and to do something on Kurt and completely fucking Oh, no, it. not that move, but like that it, it, si yeah, situation? It, yeah, situation, yeah. Oh, yeah, it could very easily be Sean Stasiak. <laughs> that sounds about right. But, uh, yeah, okay, prediction time. Will she ever try that move again? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay. They'll do it in that match and it'll work out. What if it doesn't? No, I think again. it will. I think it will. <laughs> okay. I think it will. That's fair. Uh, so the next match up is the uh, official final match in New Japan Pro Wrestling for Keiji Muto, a.k.a. The Great Muta. Uh, it is Keiji Muto, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Shota Umino uh, against the team. I'm sorry, I thought it was uh, Keiji Muto, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Uh, correct. <laughs> I couldn't tell you which one's which. Uh, against the team of Los Ingobernales de Japan, of Tetsuya Naito, Sonata, and Bushi. Oh, you couldn't fit Shingo in there? Apparently not, because he was too busy doing King of Pro Wrestling shit, hmm. uh, where he did nothing in a battle royal and then was in the Final Four. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so anybody who doesn't know, Keiji Muto, or the Great Muta, uh, is a, one of those... Uh, 
80s generational uh like an original three musketeer original three musketeer like big 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 name japan wrestler who's had you know appearances in every major promotion in the world uh, you you looked up a list of promotions he's done the green he's misted, green misted people and it was, and like, it was like 20, 20 something yeah. yeah so he's been he's been around the block but uh for the last i don't know 10 years mm-hmm. his uh knees hips ankles everything back yeah. I mean, neck, his, his shoulder, pussy, wrists, crack. Cr- yeah, <laughs> his his knees have initially been shot since the early to mid nineties. Yeah, and th- then sometimes he gets surgeries and he's good for a while, and then he's not for a while. Correct. Yeah, yeah. but he had like the big like career resurgence in two thousand one. Yeah, when he shaved his head, and started doing shining wizards. Yeah, and it was cool for a while, but then yeah. his knees got bad again. Yeah, yeah, but and uh, then his hips got really bad where he back. couldn't really walk. Yeah, no, he had a he had a real bad walk yeah. for a while. Oh yeah, that one when he wrestled as the Great Muda at that one Wrestle Kingdom, however many years ago, and yes. that walk down the ramp, it was like an old man walking through a yes. flock of ducks. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And, but they aren't moving because he's not going fast enough. So it's like, quack, 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 yeah. quack, and just going around them. That would have been like thirteen, fourteen, something, yeah, like, something that. like that. Yeah. yeah, like one of the early Wrestle Kingdoms we watched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is his sort of retirement tour. He's been on it for the last like. Six or eight months. Like six months, yeah. And uh, he's doing this one. He's doing two more, and that's it. Yeah, how many more? I don't know what he. I think I'm sure he has something between now and February, but I don't know what. No, no. is he going to do a final match in like all Japan or something? Maybe, maybe. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't, don't know. I really, yeah. I Anyways, uh, he, he's done. He's done in a month. He's done in a month. So you've got the one of the OG main guys for Japanese wrestling, and then the ace of the current generation. A new Three Musketeer. And then a future Three Musketeer. A new, new Three Musketeer. Uh, all on one team against. So it's like it's faces versus faces. Yeah, they're all yeah. Uh, We're all just having fun. And like it's. It's a match where you're just letting an old man do what he can, yeah. and then moving on. Uh, it went nine minutes, uh-huh. as is tradition with this card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, not not a lot happened. There was some very pe- bad rope running from Mudo, but uh, <laughs> he did also he's one. old, he's old, and his legs don't work. That's correct. So I don't want to shit on him. <laughs> um he didn't do a moonsault, did he? He just he did not. Yeah. He teased it, and Tanahashi told him, "Ooh, that's probably no, a bad no, idea. No. I don't no, think no. you should do that. <laughs> that's a bad idea." Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like again, very, very, very forgetful or forgettable. Like we're not going to, yeah, really remember much about this. Like this isn't like I don't know a certain other retirement match of a very old man being held together by a waist belt. <sighs> And if the belt comes oh. loose, all of his goo runs out. Please, all of his uh, beans. His beans. Because <laughs> he's made of a bean bag. The human yeah. bean bag, yeah. Genichiro Tenru. But like... We don't talk about Tenru, Drew. It's too, it's too it hurt, sad. It hurts sad. too much. It's too sad. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't know. Just like, I feel like nothing is gonna... Like, we'll look back at this. I mean, it's not his retirement match, but it's his last, like... His last New Japan match. Big New Japan match. Yeah. We're gonna look at this like we look at the... Liger match of just like yeah he had a retirement match but like what what was it the retirement match more. like yeah, yeah, yeah right like it should have been I mean I'm not gonna give Muto more but you could yeah. have done Muto Tanahashi versus Naito and Sonata yeah and that's bigger done a nine minute thing yeah but I guess like then because. Shota pinned Bushi. Yeah. So I guess Shota gets the big win on the pay per view. Yeah. On the, Which ma- is cool. on the it's big cool show. They, it's cool they gave the, the boy the pay. Oh, but they don't give Ren Narita the fucking win? Ren Narita can go fuck himself. Can fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> he can tap immediately to an armbar, yeah. is what he can do. Yeah. So I, I don't know. It was nothing. Like, it, it wasn't it, anything yeah, it like. Was, uh, it was he, a real match, was there. He hit, some, he hit some very lackluster Shining Wizards. They weren't bad, though. They weren't, like, embarrassing. No, but they weren't great. And uh, Tanahashi looks. Sonata like, took a scary dragon scar. Oh, he sure scary. did. <laughs> At like, first, we okay? thought he had legitimately oh, broken his leg. leg. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Tanahashi kind of looked old. He, Tana, he, again, he, uh, Tanahashi did not get thin for the show. He did not, but also he couldn't really run. Also, His running he, was weird. Not a good move. Again. Um, like Tanahashi is hurting. He yeah. is Tanahashi has lived a life. Well, we we said like 
I don't think he's gonna be doing like legends matches or like random comebacks in his when he's sixty. Yeah, like he's not gonna be able to walk. Like sixty, he's gonna be walking worse at sixty than Mudo at sixty. Probably. Yeah. He's like gonna he's be, he's gonna be look. He's gonna be dealing with that and looking over his shoulder still for that fucking chick who stabbed him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, I'm it, coming, it, Tana. Oh, it was nothing. It was kind of just a match. Yeah, uh, I don't. We, uh, I we we all picked Team Mudo. Everybody picked Team Mudo. Yeah, Mudo boys. Uh, the, the Mudo, Mudo yeah. boys. <laughs> Kelly picked Mudo boys. Uh, we went uh, two and three quarters for me, two and a half for Drew, three for Kelly, and Meltzer gave it three and a quarter. I don't know. If that's three and a quarter. I think that that it's, might just be the nostalgia of it be being Mudo's being last nice. match. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll go. Two, I'll go two and three quarters because it wasn't a, terrible. Two, yeah, nothing was like really wrong with it. No. Uh, they like a uh, number of other matches on the card did not blow the finish, so that's good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, two and three quarters sounds right, actually. I will give it two and a half. Okay, uh, but I did enjoy Mudo's little hop <laughs> over, <laughs> over Sonata. Sonata. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear the grunt. Yeah. Oh, 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 you it. bumped directly in oh, my you're, run you're line. You're in the way of my running. What do I do? But he didn't quite. When I say hop, I'm not. You're when you picture a hop. That's you're not what happened. Wrong. He like <laughs> kind of lifted the one leg over <laughs> and kind of, <laughs> and then like kind of shifted his shifted weight. his weight a little yeah. bit. He, he needed to use his whole body yeah. to move his leg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so now we're ten matches in, and this is where it actually becomes a show. This is the first. <laughs> Now it's a dome show. Now it's a the dome show. The last three matches are a dome show. Uh, so we have a four-way match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Uh, the champion of Taiji Shimori defending against Hiromu Takahashi, El Desperado, and, and, and Kushida. Kush- oh, he got foot in mouth disease. Oh, I foot and mouth disease. No, I was uh, I was misinformed. Oh, I thought he was. Uh, I thought he had. I, I thought you he thought had, he knew karate now and was Master Watto? <laughs> no, no. I thought he had hoof and mouth disease. I thought he was fucking. Uh, I thought he was fucking livestock. Could be. Uh, but no, I believe it. Yeah, hand. He and hand, his, foot, and mouth. He disease. and his entire family got hand, foot, and mouth disease. Uh, they yeah. were like severely really Ill. sick for so months. What they did was they had Master Watto get a non-title victory over Ishimori. He filled in for yeah. what was supposed to be Kushida in the beginning of October. Yeah, and, three months ago. And then immediately announced that it's a four-way at Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it, it, with not involving Kushida, uh, because at the time he was sick, but like, won't he be better in January? Ah! P.S. P.S. He is better P.S. in January. Shut up. Okay. P.S. Don't talk about it. He's hurt. He's sick. <laughs> he works shows in December. I know he did. I have, and like, also, why didn't he make an appearance on the show? Good question. Why didn't he come out at the end and try and fuck the winner um sure <laughs> but yeah uh i don't know it's kind of weird to announce the match so far in like advance. three and a half months they out. had two big shows left between them. they had a big november show and a big yeah. december show but like no this is the junior title match in january no thank you no more defenses until then no thank you yeah so i, I just yeah i just don't understand it strange um it was the First match to get more than 10 minutes. Yes. It got 16 minutes and 43 seconds. And it deserved it because it was really it good. It was really good. It was. It was very, very good. And I like Master Watto now. Oh, man. Yeah. We we really were shitting on him we're the mean. whole time. We're a couple of catty bitches. Until he started doing amazing things. Yeah. I'm like, I, uh-oh. Here's the thing. Okay. I think hey, cards on the table. He's your favorite wrestler of all time. No. Oh. Car- I'm being I'm, I'm a rare moment of honesty. Mm. When he entered, we called him trans. <laughs> <laughs> I believe okay. Kelly asked if he was a girl. Yeah, because he had that kind of like sort of. He's got a real FTM vibe. Well, no, he does. Like, he does. does. No, yeah, he had absolutely. more. It's like that. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, like 1930s Shanghai kind of woman look. Like, <laughs> yep. like yeah. the, that. Like his his overcoat yeah. was like one of those dresses with the no mm-hmm. sleeves with like little yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah things there and the way and his the hair, hair was done and everything. everything yeah. I thought like is he has this, a feminine energy. Yeah, he does. I was like, oh, is there a He's woman in this match? And I'm like, oh, no, he's a femboy. He's a femboy. He's a femboy. Yeah. Uh, we we shit on him a lot until he started doing awesome things, but I still am not convinced he's good. I think he's I think good he because be good he was wrestling three really good wrestlers. I think he's good now. I don't think he's good. He I, had he had uh, 
a fucking amazing German suplex out of oh my nowhere. god! I, yeah. I, I thought that was supposed to be a flip out, and it was going to end horribly. Because he was yeah. lifting him pretty high up, and we're like, oh, th that's normally what you do when you're going to toss the guy high, and he does a full flip onto his feet yeah. out of the German suplex. Yeah. Uh, but no, he, he he did the first part. He tossed him really high, and then he just brought him the fuck down all on the way neck. over. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Legit, one of the craziest Germans I've seen. Like we're one yeah. of the craziest pinning Germans I've seen yeah. for real. Uh, he also hit I don't know. Ten <laughs> crucifix, crucifix crazy drivers. Crucifix. Like, I'll, I like. I don't know if I've seen that move before. I've seen him do it before. I, I, guess, I guess him do it, but, but I not not other than him. No, it. yeah. but yeah, really cool. Did he hit like ten? <laughs> he hit like, there are three like on Ishimori. There, like there legitimately, really he hit a bunch on Ishimori. He hit, he hit one or two on Desperado, yeah. and he hit one on Hiromu. They was it, uh, and all of them were kicked out of. They're, yeah, they're all and like pretty big near fall. Yeah. Like, and was the the first one was great, the second was okay, and the third was really well. Great. The ones on Ishimori were incredible. Yeah, yeah. all these. Uh, the one on Desperado was two on Desperado okay. were okay. Yeah, but, but he was killing Ishimori. Desperado was kind of a bigger dude. Yeah, so it, it is harder to do. But yeah, he's killing Ishimori. Yeah, and yeah, and, and there was a couple. You bit on two of them. I bit on you bit on I bit on both two ones on Ishimori. That you were like, like what? is Master Wado winning the yeah. title at the dome? You're like <laughs> IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Master, Master the fuck Wato. Wato. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Master, Master Wato. Wato. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, uh, well, uh, I think it was really good. Kelly and I both said El Desperado. Yeah. Uh, we got two Desperados. You said Hiromu. And a Hiromu for me because Hiromu always wins the junior title on the Dome Show, you silly. Even <laughs> though we said that during the when we were recording, and I still said, yeah, but I want Desperado to win. Because you love him. Because I love him. Yeah, that's fair. And I thought he was getting real popular, so I'm like, uh, he's probably he is very popular. popular. You're, you're not wrong at and all. And now that Suzuki Goon's broken up, he's a solo act, so maybe he'll turn. Because he's not part of just four guys. Yeah. And maybe he'll turn. <laughs> maybe he'll turn face. He should be five guys. <laughs> Although it seems like just four guys are also maybe face. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah. I mean, two of them suck. So <laughs> that's correct. Uh, yeah, I I'm happy with the way this match went. Oh, me too. Yeah, it's better. Than no bone spots. Everything was really high intensity. The guy we thought would suck was good. The guy that we suck, thought would suck was great. So. Yeah. Uh, I predicted three and three quarters. You predicted four. Kelly predicted four and three quarters. Kelly. Because Kelly is an optimist. Yeah, I thought. It was Kelly gonna, likes I, to be disappointed. That's why. I thought it was going to be one of those things where it was like, ah! they just go crazy. Yeah. yeah. The the last junior four way at the dome probably was four and three quarters. Yeah. The uh, 2018, maybe? 18 or 17? 18? Yeah, the uh, Os Osprey, Hiromu, uh, Kushida, and who was the fourth? Who and was a fourth? sexual child predator. Stevie Richards. Stevie Richards. Drew's favorite wrestler, Marty Skrull. Yeah. Drew's biggest influence in wrestling and out of wrestling. Out of wrestling. I've, got an <laughs> Marty I've got an autographed uh, 8x10 of him. Yes, you do. With the ROH TV title. Pretty cool. Thank you, Steve West. I got Stan Hansen. Yeah, I'm happy with mine. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, Meltzer gave it four and a half. That is interesting. I am vacillating between four and a quarter and four and a half. I think quarter. Feels like quarter to me. Do I give another quarter just for the crucifixes? Because <laughs> they were fucking and sick. And the German. <laughs> and the German. Uh, it's at least I, okay. to me. It is at, it is at least four and a quarter. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say four and a half. I'm gonna go four and a half. Kelly, what do you think? If you say four and a half, I'm going to copy you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say four and a half quarter. Oh, I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to change my fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, so, the semi main event, which we were originally which they led kept to believe. saying was the main event leading into it. Even Jay White, the IWGP was heavyweight mad champion, that they were the main event. Yeah, and said him and Okada should be t world title or, or main event. But then that wasn't happening. Maybe and then Jay, maybe Jay White was so mad they changed it back. Maybe. maybe. Uh, I look world title match should be main event. Sure, sure. Do a better world title. Match. Yeah, have a yeah. better have not Jay White in the world title. Do match. O, do have Okada win the world title before the pay per view, <laughs> then do Okada <laughs> the day before. Then do Okada versus Omega or Osprey. Sure, done. Or do, a, or do a four way. Yeah. Four way, both titles on the way on the line. Okada wins both. Combine them all. Great. Get rid of the U.S. title. Get rid of some Fuck titles. it. Yeah. Uh, so the the triumphant return to New Japan of one Kenneth Omega. 
Uh, which challenge. will be the first since 2019 19. Dome yep. against Tanahashi. Yeah. Which uh, we watched in the uh, Vancouver Film School projection. We sure movie. did. Uh, yes. Um, where he challenged the current defending champion of William Osprey, or Bill Osprey, or Billy Osprey. Young Billy as... Osprey. Um, man. For, the match was 34 minutes, 38 seconds. Yep. It, other than some downtime... It, it didn't feel feel that long. It, like, I, I knew it was going to be more than 30 yeah, minutes. But, it, like, I wasn't bored by it. Yeah, it, but it other than some, like, laying on the floor pacing. or double down in the ring. Sure. It, was, little, it was, uh, it moved pretty quick. Yeah, I was a little concerned it was going to be, like, 50 minutes. Oh, I yeah, really me too. I didn't want to sit too. through that. Yeah, I really was not interested in sitting through a 60-minute match. Yeah. But, uh, they, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was, as far as long matches go, and it, it, like, certainly there's longer, but it was a lot closer to, like, that, uh... The, the first Okada Omega Dome, which I think went 47 and felt like 15. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Well, it's shorter than the main event, so... Yeah. yeah. Main event felt longer. Main event's a lot longer. So, the, uh, as Sam Jude at the beginning of this alluded to, uh, it was kind of just Omega kicking Osprey's ass for a lot of it. Well, there, yeah, there was definitely that section... Well, like, the, 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 the last, like... T- well, no, not the last, but, the, like, uh, the, 12 the, minutes... The of, third, of the last 15 minutes of the match. I would say the third quarter of the match yeah. was Omega hitting move after move. I just kicking his fucking after ass. After move and yeah. killing him. Kick, yeah. killing, kicking his ass. I'm like, Osprey, you got to do something. Yeah, he did eventually. He did. But yeah, yeah it but was. He, a, they did not follow the steamboat rule, which no. is uh, don't take more than three, three moves, moves before you fight back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, he. He, he took 15 he, moves. He bla- bladed pretty heavily. Well, Osprey did. Yeah, so they did. So they had or they had removed the padding on one corner, and then did a couple spots with that, and then yeah, then a little later on, did, did a couple ma- couple spots with it early on, then did like ten spots with it later <laughs> so, on. So yeah. spots. They kept going the same. Like, Quick, go into the dangerous corner. But yeah, they were both on the top struggling because it start. Osprey was going for something, then uh, Omega reversed and DDT'd him on top of the top corner, and he died a death. Died a death th- that wasn't the Warriors' death. Crumpled, uh, fell, uh, rolled out of the ring, crumpled under the ring, uh, had his head uh, conspicuously uh, hidden under the apron, and was surrounded by, by, by his ten friends, and uh, might or, may or may not have uh, taken a razor blade and run it across his forehead quite deeply. Did he, and, hold, did he keep it in his uh, mouth? Under his tongue? Because that's how you do which, it. Which he had under his tongue the whole time. Because he's a psychopath. Yeah. Didn't didn't he also sometimes have it hidden like in here? His cheek. Yeah. yeah his cheek. Yeah, yeah. Problem. We're, ta- we're talking about Bret Hart, and that's yes. an uh, an, ins- a, an insane and real thing that happened. I think he's. I think he might have had brain damage before earlier he than wrestled. we thought. <laughs> unless yeah. I mean, like this doesn't make it any less worse, I suppose. But like. Unless he taped everything, and then when he spat out, he removed like there's a section. No, yeah, 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 I don't, I don't think true. I don't think there. Yes, there is corn. Yeah. But if you swallow it, yeah. not good. Yeah. Not good, Kelly. <laughs> Real bad. I wouldn't do it. Even even if all of the razor blade was taped, I wouldn't wrestle with it in my <laughs> mouth. That's my hot take for today. Yeah, you've. Never bladed? I was going to once, and ah, the, yes. the match got canceled the match got, because before somebody died. Like, yeah, somebody died. Because Aust- a person, an Australian, died. an Australian died in the ring yep. when we were there. And that was the, I think that's the only time I've planned to because uh, I'm scared to. And Wait, you okay. bladed once, and we just couldn't get blood to come out of you. Yeah, weird. Wait, what did this happen with who the died? Uh, Rusty? Uh, Cage of Death. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Cage I, of Death. No I, cage. I thought you meant someone actually died. No, no, no I was no, like, no. what? No, <laughs> I was Ru- like, I don't remember this. Ru- Rusty exploded his already very bad back. back. Yeah. <laughs> Oi, blokes. I think I blew up my backside. I think my back's gay. <laughs> Make him gay. <laughs> Oi! Yeah, it's like, I believe uh, one siege was in the ring with Dan, and then when they found out that happened. <laughs> oh, my like, God. He, he's like, uh, Rusty's hurt, and then he takes like a bat with it, has a bunch of thi- uh, thumb pa- smashes, uh, yeah, uh, thumbtacks in it, and just yeah. smashes Dan's back. He's like, "Why are you doing this if we're not doing the match?" <laughs> and did he did he do did he crush him with the senton there, or did he crush him the show before to set up the cage? Before, before. It was before, yeah, yeah, that was also pretty brutal. Yeah, Siege so really beat the shit out of Dan <laughs> that weekend, yeah. and he's also doing really well. Yeah, he's trying. Uh, Siege, we love you. Yes, Siege, we, we love do. you. We very much do. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, it was 
They did, uh, I don't know, how many fucking uh, knees? Like uh, There was a few V-triggers. As, V-triggers? There, as like, there tend to be in Kenny Omega like main 30? event type matches. There, yeah. there was a few. I mean, it's his main strike. It's, like, yeah. it's his punch. I know. I know. <laughs> but like as we got towards the end of the match, it yeah. got... Really fucking good. It got hot. Yeah. Like yeah. the uh, the hidden blade to the face. Oh. Uh, the top right. I thought Kenny was going to like because the way he bumped off the hidden blade. I thought he was going to like scorpion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there was a well. There was a top rope dragon suplex onto that he feet. flipped onto his feet. Yeah. yeah. Which was really cool. Yeah. Uh, then there was. There, um, it, he, he does it almost every match, but it, and it's almost always really smooth, including this time the um, cat catch the line backflip onto your feet right into a liger bomb. Yeah, really, really good, nice. really fucking good. Uh, yeah, like needless to say, uh, it did not disappoint. No, and not. Um, oh, and the oh, fucking top rope Kreutz Wrath. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That was very oh. Jesus. <laughs> we were scared. Yeah, yeah. We were scared. But like pretty safe bump as far as yeah. uh top, top rope. rope electric chairs <laughs> into German suplexes go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that any other two guys would be able to do that as nicely no. as they did. Yeah. No, not like, really. Like two guys who spend a lot of their time doing crazy moves off the top mm-hmm. and are very strong. Yeah. Like remember when Osprey like wasn't going to be able to wrestle again. Yeah. And now he's taking that at a Wrestle Kingdom. It seems to be doing okay. I think he's fine. Way to go, Billy. I think he's doing okay. <laughs> the, uh, and not a lot of teases for either guy's finisher finisher until really late. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's true. There yeah. wasn't a lot of, uh, I think that he maybe go for the one winged angel Sort of earlier, but it was immediately countered. Like, he yeah. didn't even get him up all the way, yeah, yeah. and he immediately countered it. But, uh, yeah, there was a lot of waiting to build that towards the end. Yeah, Osprey, like, definitely worked face, even though yeah. we didn't think he was going to work face. His, his faction is heel. His faction is heel. Ostensibly, yeah. Except for one guy in the faction is the biggest baby face in all of Japan. Because he's a hero. Because he's a legitimate hero and who he's... just smashes all day. <laughs> <laughs> And one of them's a smelly Hawaiian, but uh, yeah, I, I he worked kind, he worked face, but it's not like Omega overly worked heel. No, he was just more he was aggressive. He was just more aggressive. I was yeah. going to say aggressiver, and then I remembered that I, I have a bad brain. That is correct. Omega was aggressiver. He was aggressiver. He was more of an aggressor. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it was. It was great. It, it was it, it it was exactly what I thought it would be. I did not think. I did not think that it was going to be any worse than what it was. Yeah. I feel like I wasn't a coward and gave it five stars. You were not a coward and gave it five stars. I was a coward and predicted four and three quarters. Kelly also predicted four and three quarters. David Q. Meltzer gave it on the zero to five star rating oh. scale. Six and one quarter stars. Tied for his second highest of all time, if memory serves me right. I think six and a qu- the other six and a quarter was the Okada Omega hour draw. Yes. And seven stars was the Okada Omega two of three falls longer than an hour. Yes. Yeah. And Boo. here we are. Boo! Get in the system. Boo! Coward! Boo. Get in the system. Dave Meltzer, liar! You said it was five stars. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm sticking with five stars, so... I think it's five. It was pretty fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I said Omega. Uh, and you're the only one yeah. who said Omega. Me and Kelly said Osprey. Kelly, what do you think star rating-wise? Oh, we're getting a nice... Ah, Kelly, the human theremin. <laughs> I think I'll keep it as is. Four and three? Yeah. Solid. Coward. Hey! Coward! Uh oh! Hey, noted you're, coward! You don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that leads us to uh, the match that definitely lived up to following Omega versus Osprey. Uh, about three quarters into Omega Osprey, I think you said. Yeah. Uh, I turned to you and said, "Good luck following this." Wouldn't want to be Okada White right now. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I singles match for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship of Kazuchika Okada to challenging uh, champion uh, Jason White. Who's been champion for seven months. Yeah. And could you tell me about his defenses? Because um, I, I could literally only think of one against... Jamie, Ta- Jamie White, by the way, not Jason. My bad. Ah, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. he seems like a Jamie. Right. Against Tama Tonga. I'm like, is that his only defense? Th- I mean, there's gotta be more than that. I'll, is I'll, there though? Because like I don't, I don't remember know. him really having matches. It ain't been much, I'll tell you that. But uh, I can find it pretty quick. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm already on. Want to say I'm already there. Things about it. I'm already there. You stupid bastard. And yet I'm there. Adam Cole, Adam Page, and Kazuchika uh, the, Okada the four at way at Forbidden for 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 Door. Yep. And Tama Tonga at Declaration of Power. And that's, that's it. it. Two defenses. Two defenses in between seven months. June and January. Fuck you. And yeah, that's uh, that's shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's real shit. That sucks. I mean, Okada before this had one, two, three, four. He had five defenses between winning it at the Dome Show and losing it to Jay White. Oh, in, so in Okada five had five months. in five months. Yeah. And White had two in seven months. Correct. That's not great. Correct. Uh, I don't understand the love affair with Jay White, even as a promoter and booker standpoint. Like, he is so fucking boring. What does he have on Ghetto? He's white and tall ish. I guess. And that's like, all so you is need. Will Ospreay, that's and all you he's. Need. I feel like Will can probably rub people the wrong way. No. I feel <laughs> like <laughs> Drew. <laughs> apologize and i also kind of get the feeling that if you're the leader of the bullet club you have to get stuff i guess so because like fucking evil he got stuff fucking he evil. was the leader of the bullet club for like 30 seconds oh yeah and uh yeah like i, I don't he, want to talk about 2020 new japan can I we do. never talk no, about 2020 new japan let's again? talk about his title defenses because they were really good and yeah. by really good, I mean unwatchable. <laughs> he had like eight matches with Naito. Yeah, the best, was... the best one being one and three one quarter three stars. stars. <laughs> yeah, um, this Horrible. match was really underwhelming. It got better. Sure, it started terrible. Not good. <laughs> that is true. Any offense from Jay White is the most boring. Jay White's heat. It's, but it's the thing is, it's not like it's boring because he's like a technical wizard. That he's like working over body parts. Or yeah, he's like yeah. doing psychology to set up for his moves later on. He's just doing heel stuff. Yeah. But there's no sense of urgency yes. or real like... Th- like he's just like doing stuff and then like ye- he's like jacking off to the ref and yeah. then like in the crowd and stuff like that and just talking to Okada and just kind of like making fun of him and it, but like he's not really doing anything else. He's doing heat to do heat. Because he's the heel and has to. Yes. Yeah, yeah he's he's not going out there and just like cuz you can do flashy heel moves. Yeah. Like heel Omega or heel Will and, like, Osprey. He used to be pretty flashy. I remember yeah. a face Jay White and Osprey match in Ring of Honor in 2017 and it was wild and yeah. it was great i'm like oh J-, like that's the fir- the first and only time i'm like oh jay white's like something yeah and and then immediate heel turn garbage ever since. bullet club garbage and bad i heel. think don't turn heel in new japan don't turn heel and join bullet club in japan is maybe jay the... white evil show we're like bad track record yeah of heel turns followed by no good matches ever again. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of true. Japan. Don't turn heel. Garbage. Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson. <laughs> I mean, he was always a heel, but... Mr. Anderson. <laughs> I don't think he's allowed to wrestle anymore. Um, no, he just does farts. He, he just does farts. <laughs> oh, I meant Ken Anderson, like Mr. Ah, Anderson. But anyway. I think Kelly was doing the Matrix. I know. I'm, I'm aware of that. But... Um, I believe I said Kazuchika Okada. Uh, I think everyone in their right mind <laughs> yeah. said Kazuchika Okada. Uh-huh. Did they? They did. Yes. What? I predicted. I I went. I was uh, the eternal optimist. I went four and a quarter, and I would say if if things go as well as they can, 
that's what it'll be. That's the best that's, that Okada yeah. and what the ceiling. The ceiling for Okada is four, White is and, four a and a quarter. You said three and three quarters. Kelly said zero. <laughs> <laughs> because or, it's Jay White. Or four and a half. Or four and a half. <laughs> Dave Meltzer said four and a half. I think Dave Meltzer's wrong. I think Dave's a little high. I think Dave's very high. <laughs> I think I'm sticking with my three and three quarters. I think, yeah, I'm. I have mixed feelings on the match because I hated Jay White's heat, as I yeah. always hate Jay White's heat. It's never been good. Nope. Um, but the back, the last third of the match um, was good, and Sam sort of talked about it negatively. Yeah. But the back third of the match was classic Okada main event stuff. Yeah. But I'm going to talk negatively about that, too. Go ahead. Because I feel like it is so overdone. It is. It has been done. In every Okada title match is nothing but a five or seven minute block of time yeah. where they're countering each other's finishing moves. That's fair. And yeah, it's you can do lots of cool things. Yeah, like especially when, well done, well choreographed. Yeah, especially when your your opponent to Okada has a different finishing move every time. Uh-huh. So you can do unique and different you can ideas plug it in and it work and all the better if it's something you can counter out of a rainmaker because then you're set yeah which which this was because the blade yeah. runner does work out of the rainmaker yeah. but also the blade runner is a bad move it's as established by as sam jude um, but it's just it's too much like it's fine if you do like one two three counters uh-huh. move on to the next spot yeah it's but then you're doing yeah. one two three four five move on to the next spot one two three four five right. move on to the next yeah, spot that's... one two finish that's definitely the formula right that's and it, formula. it's kind of boring yeah as much as I love Okada and I'm glad he's world champion again absolutely uh, it's there's just too much of that the, he hit an amazing drop kick as he always does yeah two I he believe. hit two yeah. yeah he hit the the actual finish on the rainmaker was incredible oh and that was one thing okada throughout the whole match he because okada strike wise is a probably pillow. probably the lightest of new japan main event absolutely like dude, dude's without a, a doubt without yeah. a shadow of a doubt except for he has the strongest head in all of mankind Yes, yes, you cannot his hurt head his head. Killed Katsuyori Shibata. Correct, um, but yeah, like of all like any strike trader in New Japan, Okada is yeah easily the lightest. He was kind of going for it in this match, and we figured it's because that last year he got to work Shingo and Will Ospreay, and this year he has to yeah. work Jay White. So he's like, I'm gonna kick Jay White's ass, and so he did. Yeah, I would assume it was also probably because they. They knew about like the not being the main event, yeah. then getting put back in the main. So he was probably like, "I'm gonna prove, prove these it, fuckers yeah. that I deserve to be in the main event." Yeah. So like, although all- I don't feel like Okada says fuckers. <laughs> True, but yeah, like all of his elbows were like way Real snug, than snug. Usual. and I th- I believe he he hit like. Th- Three. I mean, there were some other like sort of uh, Larry Rainmaker things, mm. but I think he like hit three real Rainmakers. Yeah. And numbers one and three, three. he blasted Mur- him, murdered him, him. blasted him, murdered they him. They were great. Yeah. Good for you, Okada. That is correct. Yeah. And and, and Jay took it good, took a good bump. All yeah. that. I mean, Jay is a super competent wrestler. Yeah. I just don't like him. Yes. He, he just right? doesn't do enough to be entertaining. Yeah. Like. Like I just did. don't understand why people like him so much. Yeah, if he was a mid carter, fine. Yeah, if he was doing he's like ju- he's positioned too high. Yeah. Is his his biggest problem is being positioned too high. Well, that's what happens when Kenny Omega leaves, and then COVID happens, and you're the only white the guy only who's allowed white. in the country. Yeah, and uh, I like I was basically positive Okada was winning because it would have been crazy for Jay White to win. Yeah. But Jay, like, got me to bite on one, that one reversal yeah. into the Blade Runner. I'm like, there's no fucking way Jay White's winning this. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know, they did, like, the 2.9 kick, and I'm like, but I'm like, but the way, you know, there's certain sequences, like, the way it's done, I'm like, oh, that g- could be a three could count. Could be it. And I'm like, uh, but, but it wasn't. But it, wasn't. it was, it was uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was well done. So, at the, having said all that, uh, four even. Okay. Did you say yours? He did not. No, I did not. Uh, two and a half. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Minus five. Zero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll. I, yeah, you know what? I can get. I. I'll give it four. Four even. Yeah. yeah. I think that's fair. Isn't it so nice? 
So nice. To only have to watch one, one ten Dome match show. Wrestle Kingdom and, and not, not two, two ten matches and twelve then twelve match Wrestle and Kingdoms. then another twelve match three days later. Yeah, like last year. Very nice. Last year's Wrestle Kingdom review is so long. Yeah, I mean this is half an hour longer than we expected it to be because of special guest Sam Jude. Correct. But uh, but I bet it's still a lot shorter than it's last year. Two hours and twelve minutes currently. Longer than I thought, yeah. <laughs> but but uh, the last one was over. Like it might have been three and a three half, and a half last or year. close to four. It, and I think we also recorded that the same day as another podcast last year. Probably because we're fucking idiots. And we were when we came to like day three, we were yeah. dying, no energy, and completely just done. Blasted through it like uh, yeah. there there were some Japs in this one. Yep. I there was some Japs to say. <laughs> Maybe um, even a white <laughs> Scott Andrew. You went six and four. Hey, that's a that's a winning record. Kelly and I went seven and three. Ah, oh, shit, shit. So I guess you have to use your dick beaters on us. <laughs> See these dick beaters? Time, time to su- registered ta- sex. Offenders. Time to SpongeBob us. <laughs> God damn it! I feel like an idiot. So close. You shouldn't have guessed. Oh, I don't know what. What's... I think Fujinami fucked me. No, because he also said Fujinami. That's true. I did. Yours would have been. Who fucked me? Um, Saber kind of fucked me. Yeah, I guess Saber kind of fucked you. Anybody fuck me fucked too? Fucked me. Uh, nope. <laughs> Hiromu didn't fuck me. Nope. Osprey fucked me. Yeah. That. Yeah. Osprey. I think. Yeah. Osprey. Yeah. I. I can't imagine a world where Omega doesn't win that match. So that's why I was. Well, like, uh, you were right. So good on you. All right. It, it just. It actually just sort of occurred to me that Omega won a title. Yep. He's and the that, New Japan U.S. champion. And now he'll be on Dynamite this week. He'll be on Dynamite this week. In a trio's three, th- uh, ladder match for the trio's titles while also being a U.S. champion. Which won't, even though will probably be crazy and amazing, maybe even crazy amazing, won't even be the best match on the show. Moxley Page? Won't even be the best Daniel match on the show. Daniel Sin Takeshita is going to be, like if they get time, if they get more than uh, Kairi Nakano time, yeah. they're going to fucking rock it. I love They're the, two of the like, best wrestlers in the world. Hey, fuck you, Seattle. <laughs> We're going to Austin next week or whatever it is. I believe Los Angeles. Is, the, it, is it LA? It, it's the LA Forum. That's why oh, it's Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Not Austin. <laughs> they're not doing they're not playing Austin City Limits. They might. <laughs> the Alamo. <laughs> they're playing the Alamo Draft House. Where's the basement? Of the Alamo? Yeah, as a as a Pee Wee's Big Adventure reference. Ah. Yeah. Uh. I, I I've seen that movie, but I was seven or eight. So I saw it for the first time in my 30s. I have yet to see it. Hey, there we go. We got child, adult, baby, and not yet. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Once again, don't forget, All Requests Live is still happening. You've got a couple, like maybe a month to get it in. Uh, At least three weeks or so. Fifty dollars, yeah. ninety minutes or less. I swear. <laughs> I like that you're going. I on swear this. to the God, I do not believe in <laughs> that. If you try and sneak in on ninety-five minutes, I'm gonna no, come I'm to your house. You. I'm gonna pull down your pants and I'm gonna spank your bare bottom. <laughs> what about, well, gonna pull them out of their hot dog suit and spank their bare butt, back, and balls. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Kelly knows. Yeah. Um, fifty dollars, ninety minutes or less, preferably less. Also, don't let the fifty dollars restrict you. It's fifty dollars minimum. If you actually genuinely care about us, More. give us a hundred dollars no and ceiling. don't recognize, don't recommend a movie. All the better. Yeah, that that's win win. That's win uh, for you, win for us. You can give me money too. That's like you can also give Kelly money. If yeah. you you send money to PayPal.me slash not Scott Hanson, mention Kelly in the note. Kelly gets the money. There we go. Don't forget, uh, Scott's got a cameo. He'll do gross things if you tell him to. Sure will. It should have uh, been an OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we said pay, pay, <laughs> PayPal.me slash not Scott Henson to uh, give money to this wonderful podcast you've been listening to for two hours and 15 minutes. Good for you After guys. listening to, I don't know, seven After hours of podcast. After listening to nearly seven hours in the last two days. Uh, Manscaped.com, promo code CATS20, C-A-T-S-T-20. C A T S T W E N T Y Z E R O. I breathed in as I was saying that, and the air like choked me. Right, let's let's take a clean take on Manscaped. Three, oh. two, 
action. Manscaped.com. Use the promo code CATS20. That is C A T S A 2 and then a 0. Not a weird 20. Not a weird second T. <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you are a uh, thick hog or higher, you get premium access Absolutely. to this podcast earlier than everybody else because they don't love us as much as you That's do. Correct. And if you choose the uh, poorly named third tier, maybe you'll get some <laughs> special <Anson> gifts. Log. <laughs> if you can choose Anson the Anson Log <laughs> tier, then maybe you'll get some special <laughs> gifts. Uh, you can follow me on social media uh, at Saren Softballs or uh, Dr- at Drew Sarian on Letterbox. Don't worry, I'm working on it. Uh, you're you're a patron now, so maybe I am an L patron, so I'm gonna talk to them about it. I'm at not Scott Henson on Twitter, and that's most of it. <laughs> and uh, and at not Scott Henson on YouTube, which you should be joining. What about your Instagram? What about your OnlyFans? What about your Grinder? What about your Growler? What about your Wailer? Howler's gone, by the way. No, really? Yeah, yeah. Howler's gone. They finally got them. Yep, they got them. Too many pedos? I, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Um, oh, I, you can do your social oh, media if you like. Yeah, yeah, you can. Plug whatever you want. Go I nuts. Mean, <laughs> yeah, Kevin, what are you going to plug? Uh, Give I'm, your personal I'm, telegram. I'll, t- I'll tell you your I'm Twitter gonna, right this I, second if you want it. I Yeah, you can. I mean, I think I know what it is, but you can tell me if you want. But I'll plug uh, my upcoming oh. uh, protein powder I'm working on. It's called Peck Nectar. <laughs> uh, it's going to be ready in 2032. Okay. And, uh, but pre-orders are starting now. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, so you can go ahead and do that. You haven't uh, tweeted since October 2020? Hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well played. (laughs) I I do like that your location is the woods. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. What's my alumni? Alumni? Yeah, there should be a... I have an... an, Oh, you're... My promotion alumni who uh, I wrestled for. Olive... Uh, Olive Japan Pro oh, Wrestling. Oh, shit. Fire Pro fake names? Oh, yeah. <laughs> View Japan Pro Wrestling. Yep. Azteca P-I-T. Azteca S- P-I-T, yeah. S-Dojo. Ryu, R-Y-U, and Neo One. Nice. Yep. Are all of Kelly's All the alumni. major fake Japan <laughs> promotions. <laughs> <Yeah>. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, I like that your last tweet was just other leg Pete to Brian Alvarez. Yeah, and he didn't <laughs> fucking respond. Fucking I was like, are you Brian, serious? Come on, Brian. <laughs> like, I, Be who's, cool. Who's tweeting this at you that you would just ignore it? <laughs> I don't know, him? He's a busy man. He's, he's, he's in his late but, 40s. He has two young children. <laughs> yes, but like, who's going to make a pistol Pete crew? <laughs> uh, he should have been on top of that. I agree. So, I guess they, we could talk about this off air, I guess. But uh, they did AEW Dark and Rampage for Portland. And more people we know were on the show. Any uh, women we know? Any bad women's wrestlers who yeah, I, don't I, deserve everything that they've gotten? I heard that was happening. We'll uh, we'll talk about that That's and other things off the podcast. But before we go, the most important part of the podcast, as always, Drew, time to weigh in. Kelly, good dog or bad dog? Today, good dog. Pretty good dog, gotta say. Yay. Hey. Oh, I don't think I actually gave my Twitter <laughs> <laughs> What is it again? What if I turned it off right That's now? Rude, rude, rude. Uh, is it, it K Talbane? It is K Talbane. Not K Taliban. Yes. K Talbane. K T A L B A I N. He should have been Caden Tailbane. No, I have, to, I have to be the illeg- illegitimate son of Doug of, Summers. Like, <laughs> of course. It writes itself. That is true. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, tune in next week when we do another seven hours of all request movies that both of us probably hate. <sighs> Bye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>